ability to do research, you, you yeah. will find the truth. It's not real. Now I can tell you anything. I yeah, I mean, you ain't wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't know too much about research. Well, like, yeah, but I, see what I, I was in it's psychology. Now, it's and then it's not about your stuff. research. See, and I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about the Carl Young fans, right? We, oh, gotcha. we, 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 Terrence McKenna, Alan Watts. We gave you guys. Hey, look. Your ability to research and think. Uh, Carl Jung, eighth grade level. Uh, your brain, your subconscious brain goes, Whew. as long as, right, as long as I can understand something Carl Jung is saying, at the eighth grade level, I don't have to surpass that. He's the greatest mind in the world. If I get close, I'm doing good. Right, my subconscious mind, man, if I get close, to understanding what Carl Jung was saying. I'm doing good. He's the smartest man in the world. He's one of the smartest guys in the world. If I get fucking close, right? We tricked your brain. Well, how close is close to the shit we actually gave you? Fucking eighth grade. <laughs> uh -huh. your, your, your brain's telling you, all I have to strive is to make it to the intelligence level of an eighth grader. Once I do, whoo, I'm done. So when you say research sun disc, like where, where does one start? It's in every culture now. It's like, yeah, you just gotta. This is now we're getting somewhere. When when I talked about this to other people, I'm like, it's almost as if they 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 created a a, a peak, a plateau of people's research ability and their ability to assimilate new information. Oh. We set we set the bar really really low because all the stuff to set them free exists above the bar. Gotcha. Right, so this, right, we set the bar so low, right? Carl Young, ooh, do drugs. It's a collective idea. No God. Terrence McKenna, Alan Watts, do drugs, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. And you go, well, why are the who are these men telling us to do drugs to find God? The the world's greatest minds. Uh -huh. and these, huh? These world's greatest minds are telling you to do drugs to find God because that's what ancient civilizations did. But at the same time, these world's greatest minds lack the capability of going. What if when, when I'm when I'm telling people to do drugs because uh, 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 Egypt used drugs to see God? What is this disc the guy is standing over that it says he has to articulate it correctly to see God? I know I'm talking about drugs and it's about drugs, like literally, like the pictures in front of your face, Carl Young, and you couldn't an agenda. So either. Now we're getting somewhere. Who did he work for? And people don't understand that. Who the fuck did he work for? Some crazy, like, worldwide not good thing. Now we're getting somewhere. Why did he lie? But, well, we didn't think you'd ever have the internet, did he? What has Now we're getting somewhere. All of these men who lied oh, about... Oh, definitely did. What, there, not, there has to be a way that he knew that he anticipated that, like, you know what I mean? Like he would be called he would be caught up being a fraud. You think about this, how the how the time how well, times are changing. Right? He knew that eventually he would be, be literally. Now we're getting somewhere. Mm. I'm publicly calling him a fucking fraud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a nobody. And people get so mad at me, I'm a meme. One time I got me an argument. They made me a meme about Carl Carl Young, Carl Young. A fraud, and then people come back and go, "Well, yeah, he didn't say anything about these sun discs. Why did he lie on purpose? Why did he omit or redact information on purpose?" And I go, "Yeah, that's the fucking question. Why are all these men hiding a particular subject when studying a particular subject from all of humanity?" Now you think about this: all of the world is looking for the creator; they're looking for God. All of these civilizations talk about a particular device. And then we have these men being paid to tell the world it's drugs or some kind of just idea that exists in a collective consciousness. You get what I'm saying? Mm. He published a book to hide something from you. Gotcha. You get it? So, so research Sundus pretty much in that regard. Yeah, sun disc tabernacles, monstrosities is what allows all religions and all cultures to see God. And this is what I'm getting at. Like literally, like 
I, you know, people are like, oh, you got to listen to Alan Watts. You got to listen to Terrence McKenna. I go, okay, what's Terrence McKenna? Da, 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 da. They're like, oh, the food of God, psychedelics. And I go, okay, let's research where he got this information. They speak about a tribe. I'm like, well, the tribe talks about it being a sun disc. Mm. And then the book just says drugs. And then I start going, well, this is interesting, though, because every famous scientist and everybody you guys look up to is saying drugs when the information doesn't say anything about drugs. It actually talks about being a fucking scientist and creating some equipment. Right. I need a device. Right. right? Mm-hmm. I, I want to hear your heartbeat. I need a stethoscope so I can put it on it. Right. And that's what the ancient civilization say. Some people are born to see this and we need a device. We are looking for men, engineers. Gotcha. But anyways, uh, sorry. <laughs> you guys. Um, you cut out your hands on the microphone. Oh, um, I saw in the chat someone said Michio Michio Kako. Michio uh, Kakao. Yeah, I can't say his name either. Yeah. Um, I remember my friend was saying he he had some interesting things. What What do you think about him? Or what Fun- What books do you recommend? Rather, anything, everything, if- and anything you can get from him. They're puzzles. There's clues. There's oh, breadcrumbs. Okay. Now you cool. get somewhere, right? Uh, I, uh, you, you think about uh, science information being a loaf of bread. You got to follow the crumbs mm. and meet your cacao. Like I, I was talking to my wife's uncle and he said like to talk about science and they're always talking about how science, you know, the scientists are merging Christianity and science today. And I think it's so fascinating because I, like I was talking about Carl Jung giving you some information that's not real. My father in law or my wife's uncle's a fucking doctor. And he's been, they give him all kinds of fake science. And I'm sure he talks about this fake science as it being real with a bunch of other people. And I think, like, how many fucking, like, how many people are out there lying about things to make, to make, you know, to, yeah. To, yeah. You know, because he was like, I asked him, I sent him some information and he, he sent me some, and this is a doctor, like a highly educated man. Mm. Top yes. of the fucking education, top of the pyramid for what America looks up to for intelligence. Mm. And I, like, I sent him a, a, some information and he's like, well, I'm not sure about um, science is not sure about consciousness when it's created. And I'm, I'm like, you know, in the body. And I'm like, well, they just dis- we discovered it decades ago. They like the moment energy is recorded in, the, in, in, the, in a vessel that's going to be life is the moment consciousness is created and they and got they that discover it in the body yeah the moment What's they that? discover energy Is from a mer- like related so, to uh, biofeedback kind of but we have to is a, now we're, but we got to get somewhere right a sperm and an egg doesn't hold your consciousness does it when they merge together that first transfer of electricity that energy has to hold your consciousness because we can't create consciousness in physics it's energy you can't create it yeah right? i mean See what I'm getting that at? Was Basic question. Business. That was see. That was always a question that I asked my friend, who's very into sciences and and is an atheist. I'm like, so what distinguishes this matter, like say the speaker over here that I just touched, from yeah. me? Your consciousness, that 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 energy, the moment. And that- then I'm like, how do you like explain everything that is like miraculous? And it was like hard to explain to someone, yeah. but. Yeah, no, I get it. But so this is what I talk about in physics, in science. A fuck, a freaking doctor doesn't know when consciousness is created simply so that another country can be decades ahead of the, 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 the experience. And now we get somewhere, right? Uh, science and research, a lot of it co- requires government approval and things like that, even when it doesn't. So your China... Right. And I'm the United States and I want to research. Hey, man, energy can be created and consciousness is energy. Mm. So the first moment we can we can record energy inside of a, a body mass, it has consciousness. Yes, I want to research that. And you go, uh, uh-uh, consciousness hasn't been discovered in the uh, yet. We don't know what it is. It's not energy. We don't even know yet. America, China tells America. Nope. Nope. You can't research that. Can you, can, oh. And America goes, okay. So then we're stuck giving 
look at this. And he sent me some stuff. Look at this cutting edge information. I'm like, it's from the fucking nineties. Like their most cutting, everybody's most cutting edge information. They send me like, it's from the nineties. Huh. Like, like, Christianity is now merging, proving scientific facts in the Bible. I'm like, all of your scientific facts to prove the Bible have been disproven by Christianity, which is even scarier. The Christians uh-huh. disproved the Bible, and then they just kept the, 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 the truth for themselves at the top. Like some Christians, would, let's get all of our people together, pay for some science, and figure this shit out. And they go, all right, we got it. Let's not tell anybody. <laughs> Better. Gotcha. Well, I thank you for your time, man. It's great talking to you. Bye. I got so, I, so you guys come on and my brain rambles everywhere. I got a bazillion ideas. So. Got to get them all out. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. What can I do for you? Uh, first of all, can I get a picture with you? Is it okay? Thank you. Um, first of all, I was gonna say how the like your the books were saying um that Carl scientist guy was saying how drugs is how you find God. Yeah, well there's a lot so Carl Young alluded to it, it was just a collective idea. Yeah. It's an idea that everybody shares out in the you know, it's there and you can latch onto it if you want, but yeah. it's not real. And, uh, you know, most people latch onto it using drugs. Most people find this God or this using drugs. And I just thought it was interesting because yeah. none of the civilizations they studied to say that actually said that. They all said, you use a disc. So yeah. you imagine a scientist going, we use government money we to teach you kids things and comes back and just lies. Oh, yeah, drugs. It's all drugs, guys. Well, wh- why did you lie on purpose? <laughs> you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was going to say how they were... Um They were explaining how they, they want people to create things and engineer, engineer things, engineer new ideas. Yeah. Which is, I feel like right now it was pushed over media and over like military commercials. Well, that's not, that's just a feeling. I mean, literally everything wants you to create things. Yeah. Right. Everybody wants you to create something and do something with your life. Everybody. Yes. But what I mean is like, How people, uh, sorry, I'm having a hard time. Uh, That's all right. Trust, don't worry about it. It takes me so long to get my words in order. Yeah. I got rambles about stuff that you won't even understand, <laughs> you know, that I talk, you know, but just to get my words in order. Yeah. Well, how in the olden days, everyone was raised, or not everyone was raised, but the whole education system and social system was raised for everyone to grow up and work in a factory. But now everyone is pushing for greater minds, for people to create and to learn. Yeah. To become. Well, I mean, that's what we, we, we needed that in the first place. So we never actually wanted you to go away from that. And I, I talk about this, you know, touch. It's a touchy subject because people don't really want to just debate. Did we actually win the war? Right. The world war. Did we actually win it? But we didn't actually. Right. And this is very interesting how, how people don't. You know, propaganda. We told you we won the war. And then every other country that we went to war against started receiving our resources, our money. Right After we won the war, all of the countries that we went to war with now get all of our money. That's yeah. what for winning, uh, other countries decided it would be okay for you to get cancer so they can make money off prescriptions. Other countries decided it was okay to give you heart disease so they can make money off of prescriptions we won the war and as the reward is uh pain and misery so another country can make money well who's making the money the guy, the loser of the war what we won the war and the losers of the war are now making money off of our deaths doesn't doesn't see it seems like you were told something but it didn't really fucking happen <laughs> like now japan is one of the biggest economies in the world yeah, like everybody. Now we're going to get somewhere. Everybody's on the verge of surpassing the United States. Yeah. Why? Because we didn't fucking win the war. Yeah. Uh, 
I have a few more questions if that's okay. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on uh, anxiety and depression? I have anxiety and depression really bad. I do too. I had just actually, I had just um, I had like just I've gotten, been really yeah. I had just gotten a therapist. I have just gotten a therapist this past two months, and she actually uh, she actually told me I was somewhere on the autism spectrum. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She she said that it explained my anxiety and my uh, OCD and yeah. just my thought process. And I just wanted to ask you on that touchy subject. You know, so I'll give you, so I have anxiety, right? Yeah. Every once in a while, the military shows up, tries to kill me and my wife and threatens to murder some babies. If I don't do bad shit, they've been trying to get me to do a mass shooting and blow up something for a very long time. Oh, wow. I have anxiety about it. Like they show up, a lot of people get tortured. A lot of people are murdered. You know, and all they, they just want a mass shooting. They want, a, they want a, a terrorist act on American soil with all of their heart. And it gives me a lot of anxiety to know that I'm going to be fucking waterboarded again. I'm going to be tortured. They're going to fucking come around with fucking group rapists. I mean, it's fucking bad. Yeah. And if I can, if I can cut yeah. sugar one or two days a week and exercise to rewire my brain, to not forget about it, but to just kind of fucking deal with it. Like that's just the way life is. The military kills people. They're 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 terrorists. Uh, you know they're gonna come. They're always coming. They're always gonna try and get you to kill your wife and kill a bunch of people. That's what they fucking do. Uh, you know if I can exercise and rewire my brain to deal with it, I uh, you know you probably can deal with some things in your life. Does that make sense? Yeah. But you have autism and you got o a little bit of OCD. Yeah. You can take your need for a repetitive action self-stimulatory behavior yeah. you know, and your ocd and combine them into an exercise that will help you alleviate your anxiety yeah just like how people get rid of stress and uh, anger and adhd with exercises yeah yeah but like like yeah like I, like i have a real like i'm fucking terrified that, like, there's some military that keeps showing up trying forcing me to work with this Courtney Hunt who she delivers black market babies so, you know they so they can do their whatever on the down low it, literally uh, you know and it, 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 I, I, I so much abuse and so much torture so this woman can stand up and be like you were looking for me I, you you asking me to write your take you know do some books for you you guys are needed you need me and i'm like you guys are fucking torturing me in front of women and children so that you can tell the world i need you like it's fucking that's a lot of anxiety you imagine yeah. being fucking waterboarded to, like I, yeah, they, I, I had to watch the military teach little boys under 12 under 12 years old how to choke women out so they could wake them up having sex with them these little boys aren't even old enough to have sex yet yeah that's they were teaching in South Hill Puyallup. They're teaching little boys. This is what you do to have a sex slave. You have to choke them out and then you wake them up in the middle of it and they'll just carry on because of the embarrassment. They don't know what's going on. They don't know you raped them. They woke up in the middle, you know, that's fucking anxiety. Like yeah. I witnessed that, right? So and I witnessed that. So you get anxiety. Are they going to come and do bad things to me? Cause I witnessed that. Well, yeah. No, my, my neighbor's like, yeah, they fuck. Since you witnessed that, they've been coming trying to kill you a lot. They fucking tortured you a lot. Yeah. You're not supposed to remember that. Quit talking about it. Pretend you don't remember. And there's the, like, I quit talking about it and pretend I don't remember and I don't have any more anxiety. Kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then, who's the next victim? Right? And there's my other anxiety. If I don't speak about it. Who's the next victim? Did I, I wake up this morning and go, I wonder if they killed five more people, ten more people. Did they rape a hundred more women today? They killed seven more babies? That's why I wake up in the morning. If I don't say anything, how many more lives will be lost? Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you think Do you think this is a new thing? Because my grandfather, he was in the Air Force and he was in it for like 15 years. And I, and I know how bad Tacoma is. I used to live in Tacoma and Puyallup. Um, I haven't had any experience with the military, of course, but yeah, no. So somebody asked me real quick. Um, is that why you stopped collaborating with Courtney? I never wanted to collaborate with Courtney. My wife 
they said if I didn't collaborate with some people, she would be forcibly impregnated and they would murder the baby. And then if I still wouldn't collaborate, they would murder my wife. And, and um, you know, the military showed up to do those fucking things. Yeah. In full force. Right. So they made the threat publicly and then the military followed through. When, so when Courtney Hunt tells you she's going to have you murdered or, or somebody raped, it's fucking real. It's real. <laughs> it's fucking real. The fucking military just out there fucking henchmen. You think about how crazy that is. You want some, you, we want somebody want to kill your mom or your dad? You call it fucking airborne rangers. They'll do it for them. You think about it, it used to be you called the cartel or the, you know, the mafia. You called some bad people. Yeah. Or is that what the TV wanted you to think? Yeah. But I don't know. I, I don't think it was that bad when your grandpa was because I think a lot of my mindset comes from people from him, from his era. Yeah. Cause what I've, I've, what I've, the information that I've got from you, I, when you say how women are raped, I, I think of prostitutes in Vietnam or things like that. I'd not anything to the, uh, comparison of what you, you've been explaining. Yeah. Well, it's, it's so interesting to think about, you know, I compare Afghanistan to Vietnam. So there's a, there's a, there's a funny joke. There's a comedian and he, he, you know, comedians often tour military when they're overseas and stuff. Yeah. And, um, they're, they're jokes for the comedians. I hear this is like a shit when they get to the Middle East. I hear this is like a shithole Vietnam because, because there's no women to fuck only camels. Yeah. Where did, you know, where did you get that joke? You know, you know, and people don't understand like, yeah, that's a funny joke, whatever. There's no women to fuck, only camels. As a comedian, where did you get that joke? How's that funny? Oh, well, I know from history, uh, the American soldiers, they used to torture women and, 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 and things like that until they would want to have sex with the rest of the platoon. And go, huh, what happened to those men that did those things oh they were always ambushed they were always killed they never succeeded the men who par- participated in in in, in the in, in, it's almost as if it was a setup don't you think we offer you you know you're my enemy i offer you some women or some children if that doesn't work some animals some drugs and now i can follow you wherever and you can't win and you go well, in afghanistan what are they doing they go oh they're providing prostitutes around the military bases what military bases? Everyone in the country. You go, what? Yeah, it's like on the street. Yeah. You, you, there's a Middle Eastern person who's a middleman for the prostitutes for the American military. Well, that's interesting because they can't win a fucking war in the Middle East. Yeah. Right? You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. Why can't they go, why can't we win a war in the Middle East? Well, fuck, they always know before, we're, they always know when we're coming. Right? They ambush us. Yeah. What does an ambush mean? Well, they knew before your commanding officer even fucking told you. Yeah. So who else did your commanding officer fucking tell? Oh, nobody. You sure? Not even the not even the Middle Eastern man who the prostitute your commanding officer has sex with on the weekends with children. Uh, reports to not even that guy. Maybe you see what I'm getting at. Yeah. And that's what like I you know. Think about those things. Who's the most successful platoons in the Vietnam War? The ones that actually didn't do drugs and didn't participate in prostitution. They didn't have any way to lead it. To tr- nobody would, could track them. Nobody, you know, could infiltrate them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and you know, I don't know. That makes sense. Yeah, your, your grandpa came from a different time. Yeah, for sure. Times a different, were very different. <laughs> Yeah, and back then, and this is it, this is so interesting. Like your back, back then, Tacoma used to be a very nice area. Yeah, but I so grew up there. Yeah, back back when your grandpa was in the military, if they were sent somewhere and somebody was doing those dumb shit, they just killed the guy. Yeah, you're not getting the rest of us killed. You know, Tom needs to go see his children. You're not getting Tom killed, so you can go have sex with some kids, so you yeah. can do some cocaine. Today, they're like, let's just kill the witnesses and hope we make it. Yeah. Or they'll get court-martialed or... 
they don't even do that anymore. They they just it's bad. Yeah. That, like you imagine my house, some some children from, from overseas and shit like that. Just okay, who's the bad people going to show up? And it's just the fucking military who rolls up. <laughs> And go, they can't be the bad guys. Right? The military rolls up. They can't be the fucking bad guys. And then they just start fucking fucking animals and children and killing people. Yeah. So the and military, then the, do you think the right. military needs to um, create a, I don't know, this sounds weird saying, but for men to get their urges out so that those bad things don't happen? No, they just need to put a, put a bullet between their fucking eyes. Yeah. I'm not saying, like, well, yes, for sure, for the, like, the, um, for sure, for the, uh, children and bestiality yeah, and rape. Yeah, they ought to just be killed. Yeah. But, but here's the thing. I mean, here's like, the thing. The enemy... Now we're getting somewhere. You think about the military who do the raping, the torturing, having sex with animals. The enemy can't kill those men because the enemy needs those men to get recruits. So, and by the enemy not killing those men, they're just displaying the failures of the American military, right? Yeah. Right? Who's supposed to fix that problem in real life? The fucking military. Yeah. As a, as a cartel or a criminal organization, if I can record the military participating, in their fucking country, they're not going to do any fucking better in our country, are they? Yeah. It's just, you know, there's, they don't have any men in the military anymore. There's no men, there's no honor. Yeah. We have a whole generation of, of, of men with no fucking honor. And that's fascinating. Like, I show you, I'm not bullshitting. I like, let some kids watch me and my wife be tortured and raped. And then call the, now watch kids, I'm going to call the FBI, the CID. We're going to call the places that you're told will fix this shit. So you know to trust them. And the kids come back and go, fucking A. <laughs> the FBI participates in black market babies. We watch them fucking try to murder you. Yeah. Until you, we watch them fucking try to choke your fucking wife over and over again until you agreed to give a baby away. That's illegal as shit. Yeah. And the FBI did that shit. The military did. Yeah. What do you think they fucking doing in your country? Yeah. That's like cartel stuff. That's crazy. Yes. Yes. That's cartel shit. The mil- fucking military. The military. The American military killing fucking shit. We put it on the news. It was somebody else. But it's the American military. Like, I can tell you. I know some, some, some. Soldiers that, you know, they they gave the right cause of death. But there's a lot I can be like, look, this person who died in Africa, what, Pierce County, Washington, this person who died in, in, in Afghanistan, Pierce County, Washington, this person who died in Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Pierce County, Washington. Yeah. They're That's always, fucking powerful. The media, the schools, the education system, it's all whitewashed. But you, 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 you think about that shit. There's 50 states in our country right now going, holy shit, every once in a while some soldiers are being ambushed in Afghanistan. People are dying in the Middle East. Yeah. And one small town going, they just murdered those people in our town. Those people just died on American soil. We actually have a war going on on American soil. Good men trying to stop the rapist, murdering fucking bad men who have infiltrated the military. And the bad men keep winning and just allotting the body count to some shit overseas or training accidents. When the bad guys win, oh, the person died overseas. The bad guys win, it was a training accident. Some, You know what I mean? This shit's yeah. just nuts. Yeah. It's a huge war. Yeah. Like a real-life war. On what American about, soil. What do you think about Trump uh, pulling all the troops from the Middle East? It wasn't his decision. So uh, uh, we'll leave him out of it. Yeah. But it was it was one of the greatest decisions ever made. Yeah, for sure. So, one more thing. Uh, 
I've had a few arguments about this with friends lately, about the media and the education system, just pretty much everything normalizing things that shouldn't be normalized, like, I mean, like, like being, like, homo, being homosexual, I understand that's a normal thing, and being transgender, that, it, that's a normal There's nothing thing. wrong with it, and, yeah. and it should be normalized. Yes, that's normal yeah. thing. Yes, I know, but, like, that's at, it. at the same no. time, it, they're pushing no. things in TV no. shows. No, listen to what I'm saying. Why? Why should a transgender person have to look at me or your face? Because we're we're normal. Yeah, they're pushing it right. They're pushing an agenda. They're making them look at us. They're making them watch movies with just straight people. Yeah, with just right. They're, look, I mean, think of this. You have to go to school. There's fucking. It's an agenda. Just straight principles. Just straight congressmen. Yeah, it's an agenda. Now, you, where's this, your perspective? I want you to think about this in real life. The original linguistics to create religions today states. If being homosexual goes against nature, then it goes against God. Go check. And religious men today go, if I change it up, I can make more money by saying going gay, being homosexual goes against God. Right? We took one, some few words out of a paragraph and changes the whole fucking meaning. It literally, the, yeah. before we translated the King James Bible and the Aramaic for the, for the, before the, the Bible and the Quran, if being homosexual goes against nature, then it goes against God. Now go check. And you guys, why do I got to go check? Well, because I'm a fallible man. Yeah. You, Nate, God made nature. Right? I write something down. I made the book. Right? I make the text. You go check nature. God made that. Yeah. You go check nature. God made nature. Now, if it exists in nature... What God created, then that means God created people to be transgender, to be homosexual. They're yeah. a gift. They're special. Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying that it's wrong or that shouldn't be normalized. It's but it. well, that's it. Yeah. That's it. You understand? There's no such thing as they're they're, you know, they're putting it too much TV. There should be just as many gay and transgender and everybody else, percentage wise. Yeah. As there is for everybody else. Yes, but not not those things but other things like how there's pedophiles trying to get into the lgbt community and bestiality and I'm, i just feel like if we normalize too many things i'm not well, saying the bestiality thing comes from the american military and that's what's so sad there's a huge i've been studying this for a long time i on the internet there's a there's a site where a lady has uh she fornicates with a german shepherd and another one with a with a horse and their number one customer base, the American military. That's horrible. Yeah, you study like so you study like Pornhub and things like that. They're companies. They they study who's their number one subscribers and what do they like. So you as an advertiser, you can pay Pornhub and say, I need information about the American military's taste in porn. Right? Yeah. Because that they give out the information for free, right? You don't pay for Pornhub, they give it out for free. So today Russia goes. Pornhub, I want information specifically on the American military's porn-watching habit. And it comes back saying the American military is dominated. Their, 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 their dominant things to look at and watch, people having sex with animals and drugging and, and, and raping people. Mm -hmm. And you think so as, as a foreign country, you pay for that information from a porn website about the military. And it comes back and says drugs, animals, and chill, flesh of children. And as that foreign country, you go, is it real? Well, let's put some drugs, some children, and some women out and see what the Airborne Rangers do. And they go, yeah. fuck, they jumped all over it. It's real. And that's where I try to explain to people, fucking the military is stupid. They're, st they're on, they're, their TikTok ties to their Facebook, and their Facebook ties to their fucking Tor browser that we can't look at their fucking things. Yeah. You know, I did... um. My free cams had a girl on there. She you know, for communication, for transferring things. Yeah, she was in a, in a house basically with, with a bunch of rooms, and one, you know, some of the rooms on one floor were used for cam girls, and the other floor of the room was used for sex trade. So a brothel, huh? Kinda, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she, she would she would get on and you know 
wear her 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 her, her thing with a key. You know, I'm not saying what 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 happened, but you know, she put on her 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 thing with a key like this. Yeah, and you, you know, there's a kid upstairs. So that building needs to, when you know somebody needs to go and follow, go to that building and just follow to see what what you know. You don't go to that building. You don't make a scene. You just they brought a kid. She got her thing on. It says, "Look, she's wearing this. She only wears it when there's a kid in the building." Somebody get there. Yeah. And you just follow. And you're fuck. Why do you follow? Why do you just do? Why do we do it that way? Because it's the fucking military. They fucking kill everybody. People do anything for money and power. Yeah. And my, yeah, my free cams, the lady on the my free cams, she, you know, just co- coded message, like, you know? Yeah. She's like, you know, what? I can't tell you what she did, but she'd do something and you go, okay. And every time she did it, sure as shit, they're like, yep. Yeah. Got one. Got a kid. Yeah. Every time. And you think about, I don't know, I never knew that girl from before either. I always wonder if she was just a tra- sex trafficked herself. And that yeah. like... I don't really know. Like, did she choose to stay there? That whole the kids come. You imagine, that, like, I'm going to stay here and be sex trafficked as a woman because every few, every four months, every three months, every ninety days, a kid shows up. So if I stay here every ninety days, I can get one one kid out. Sex trafficking is so confusing. I don't even understand. I don't understand ever, anything about the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing. It's nothing. Did he not do anything? Or what do you well, think? I'm not saying, but here's the thing. You don't, you, all you have is news, right? Yeah. You don't know if anything you've been told is real, do you? Yeah. No. Right? That's the yeah. problem. You don't know what, what, if what you've been told is real. Yeah. I do know. On the dark net, there's a video of a military re- mafioso guy telling him to kill himself. <laughs> You know, it takes it takes a certain look to tell something, you know. Yeah. I don't know if he did or not. I don't even know if Jeffrey Epstein was a real person. Right. How, think about this. Yeah. Have you but, met Epstein? Yeah. Have you? No, you don't even know if they're a real person. Yeah. Right? You think about Epstein. What do you think? Epstein Island. I was like, Epstein Island? How about Westmore Homers Association? Yeah. <laughs> Anything to be a drug Anything can be a drug operation. Anything can be a sex trafficking operation. You never know. Yeah. You don't really know. It's it, it, like, I, I don't talk about anything. I don't know what's factual. I yeah. If I haven't witnessed it for myself, I, ain't, I, I don't care. Yeah. And I think that's why I get a lot of you kids on. <laughs> what's your next question? Ooh, this is not um, good. Let me move that curtain. I was going to say, what's your uh, what's your stance on politics? If you don't mind, I don't really have a stance on politics. I think they're all they're all corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> Do you <laughs> lean more towards like views though, like a liberal or a conservative? No, I'm just me. Yeah. I, I lean towards Martin King of the North. Yeah. I, if, if I was, if this was a, uh, if the, if the, if the United States had a crown and I wore it. I don't. I, you, you think about um, the power you have as the president. I mean, you think about this, this is real life shit right now. Yeah. You imagine a president, and it, it would take one who hasn't been corruptible to just before he fucking his last day in office, just kneel down and be like, "Executive order, purge the pedophiles." That's it. Just a blank statement. Executive order, presidential order, purge the pedophiles. Purge being the key word. <laughs> yeah. Right. What do, do you think, think about, about that? that? <laughs> yeah. What do you think about uh, climate change? Do you think it's real? We know it's fucking real. Yeah, for sure. Now, here's the thing. It's scary. I'm so scared of climate change. You go, yeah. why, are we, why, why are we hiding climate change? And they, and they tell you, because it's one of the number one producers of cancer. It will lead to the biggest transfer of wealth in the United States' history. And I go, well, we already had that wealth transfer called oil. In, in, in people pay attention. Like we transferred our money out of our country buying oil. One of the, the, that, that was the largest transfer of wealth. And they go, no, 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 no. The climate change is pumping toxins in the air that's going to cause cancer and all kinds of diseases. And those diseases cost more money to cure and maintain than fucking buying oil and heating your house. <laughs> so, right? So I got I heat my house. You know, for the year. 
twelve hundred bucks, you know, whatever, uh, and uh, running a poop, all kinds of shit, right? Yeah. I get cancer from climate change. That's ten years worth of fucking electricity just to fucking go to the doctors. Yeah. They haven't even touched me yet, just to see the doctors. So yeah. go see the specialist. How much is it? Six grand. Six fucking grand just to step in the office. Yep. Six years worth of fucking electricity, six years worth of coal and oil money. And that was the biggest transfer of wealth, right? You paying for oil to heat your house and coal to heat your house right, was the biggest transfer of wealth in history. Well, that ain't nothing. Wait till the cancer transfer happens. Yeah. Wait till the heart does Like, it's getting bad. And our, we got crazy that we're like tracking it as a country. Like, man, this, this cancer plague is about to be pandemic. Like yeah. blue, they're like God. Heart disease is about to be a plague. This yeah. is we just we made it up. Like <laughs> we made it up. I feel like it's all. I feel like smoking. All, like I know that might be a huge cancer. Uh, give you cancer, but my grandmother, uh, she had a surgery on her back. She had her main artery and her spine removed, and had it replaced with a. The artificial one, and uh, mm -hmm. when she when she had all of her organs exposed to oxygen, that that all turned to cancer. And uh, yeah, but that that I feel like carcinogens and carbon is huge with that. Well, there you go. Car carcinogens and carbon in, in yeah. the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah, it is pretty huge. But yeah. Uh, uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy. The world's just fucked up right now. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad. I, you know, I'm glad I won't be. You, you imagine. Like, so you ponder the earth and go, "Well, man, imagine being your grandkid. Your grandkid. Our fucking our the Congress sitting house and the president and the Republicans and Democrats. They they. What you want my opinion on politics? They have screwed your kid. It's over and you over so bad. It's crazy. Yeah. They've just raped you over the coals. Yeah. You know, like, like we, we 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 pay so much taxes, and we got to cut our taxes. Well, how are you cutting our taxes? Oh, don't worry, the the middle class will pay for them. Doesn't even make any fucking sense. You already got a billion dollars a year, and that wasn't enough. Now now you got to pay the the single mother on the corner of the street. Yeah, has to foot your fucking tax bill because you don't want to pay any out of your billion dollars in profit. That makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I mean, I do. <clears throat> I don't. That does make a lot of sense, yes, but at the same time, I do like capitalism, and I, I, I don't like socialism at all, because, I mean, a lot of times those people made that money, and I realize that they don't want to give it away. Like, I, some people, it's a good thing, some people... But here's the thing, though. Passing laws, or having state right bylaws, so you don't have to pay taxes, and then bitching... That you don't want to pay taxes on the money you earned, which you only earned by not paying taxes, doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it, uh, it, I've had so my best friend, one of his uncles, makes easily over half a million dollars a year, and his mother is struggling. She's single mom, you know, boyfriend after boyfriend. It's bad, and. <sighs> He's such a snob. He won't give a cent out of his pocket to help his sister. None. He just hates her for being who she is. Which I've had, I've had personal issues with her, but that's that's different. That's that's his family. You know what I mean? That's his sister. Yeah. Um, you know, it does, it, I I learned that 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 word family doesn't mean anything in America. It doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. It really like. doesn't mean anything not uh, and, 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 you know uh, and I, I i like just paying attention like what what does what does it what does family mean in america today it doesn't mean anything it yeah. doesn't mean shit i mean you think about how crazy that is it doesn't mean anything yeah especially if money's involved or yeah it is a it's a bad it's a bad world what do it's you very bad world. Yes. What do you think? I mean, since America is corrupt, what do you? 
what is a good social system and justice and economy? What what is a good country in the world right now that you think is a good? I don't pay. I, you know, I really don't pay attention to that stuff. I just worry about my own business. Yeah. <laughs> if, you know, and I, I I don't know how to. I don't really pay attention to the rest of the world. I pay attention to what's going on at home, and what's going on at home is so bad. Yeah. You think about when did it become acceptable for the military's chain of command to drive around publicly to engage in gang banks and forcibly raping people? Like it's a thing. Like Friday nights, what do we do in Lewis McCord as the chain of command? Well, we're all going to hop in a fucking SUV and find somebody we can force to fucking have sex with. Ah, yeah. <sighs> the American dream. <laughs> it's fucking bad. Yeah, it's, it's fucking bad. bad. Besides, and, so if they don't, and if they don't want to have sex with us, We'll try and get the police to kill them. We'll try and get somebody to kill them. We'll send the fucking SEALs. We'll send the Airborne Rangers. We'll get someone to kill them. It's publicly. abusing power is where it is. Right, it's publicly, we're going to try and send somebody to kill them. It's, it's soldiers abusing power. That... Real-life fucking cr criminals. Now we're getting... Yeah. My, my neighbors, fucking war criminals, doing the shit that they did so that some old men could fuck animals and kick children. I mean, literally, where did this escalate? Somebody tried to silence me from the chain of command at Lewis McCord trying to have sex with animals and children. They literally, the, the Pierce County Sheriff's, oh, the, the, the military showed up. We, we got to let, just, they, they go, we don't arrest the military, we don't do anything to the military when they show up to have sex with kids. When we do these things, Martin, and the military shows up, they walk. Unless there's witnesses where we, we're stuck. Now, if the person you're talking to, Martin, sees the military man show up and and, and we think it's going to escalate where people are going to be reported, then we're going to have to arrest them. But yeah. if you can, you let them go because they'll come back and kill people. Yeah. You arrest the military, they just call somebody and then somebody shows up and shoots your wife in the face and then they say she drowned herself. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's setting up people to get, or it's uh, framing people. It's fucking bad. Like, yeah. like I wake up here, like my, you know, uh, <laughs> they've been trying to get me to do a fucking mass shooting or become a suicide bomber for years. And we let children in my community watch. Like nobody really understood what was going on. I'm like, I watched the military have sex with animals and children. And now they want me to die. But. I have to kill myself. They want my wife. They want literally. There's some guy who showed up in my house in South, in my other house in Puyallup on the other side of the street, and he showed up at this side of the street after the military does their raping and their torturing. And he he originally used to keep some of the children victims. Like I like he saw me again. He's like, I thought I lost you. I, yeah, I ran away. I escaped. He was yeah. keeping some of the children. And I was so scared. You imagine help you kept getting people turned over. You're, you're, you're helping and you're turning kids over to me or women, whatever, so they can get to the police because I am the police. And then, and then you know, it gets cold one day and you decide to break into the house. Yeah. And you, I turned that kid in fucking months ago. Yeah. I turned that kid in months ago. Yeah. This is fucking scary. It was very surreal for me. I turned that kid in fucking months ago and he's yeah. still fucking chained down here. And I can clearly look at the kid and say he's been sexually assaulted. And the only people that are fucking coming in and out of your house is the military. I yeah. turned a kid in and the guy kept the kid for months while the military, the airborne rangers and shit like that were showing up to sexually assault this little boy. I didn't know they had the kid. I thought they fucking turned it in. Do you think that's just your, I'm not trying to say I don't believe this. I'm just trying no, to. No, here's the thing. I learned very on. I, that happened, I go get you and say, hey, look. Look what's in here. See what I'm getting at? I'm smart with my autism. I don't do things by myself. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'll say, look, see what's in here? Now, I'm going to make a big stink and have a meltdown. You go back and hide in the bushes. And see what happens. Yeah. Do you, think, do you think that's just... Because I've seen the community and how just 
I hate to say this, but Tacoma and Puyallup, that area of Washington, I used to live there. That yeah. it's a very. I used to live in South Tacoma. I, it's a very, very ghetto neighbor, neighborhood. It's a very. It's it's not a good area. Do you think that that that's just? Your well, now, no, because it's not the ghetto. Now we're, this is what's fucking crazy. In the ghetto area where the gang members live and all the bad people, right? Yeah. That doesn't happen. It only happens in the nice neighborhoods where the military lives. That's yeah. what's fucking crazy. Yeah. It you only see. happens in the good neighborhoods where the where the fucking military is. The yeah. retired military. I earned my fucking retirement. Where's the children? I earned my retirement. Bring on the animals. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Do you think that was just your experience with that that person, though, who came to your house? No, no. So now we get somewhere. Because I knew that person before my house. See what I'm getting at? Yeah. I knew that person from before my house. So then I start paying attention. Well, this fucker just, I turned a kid in, and he never turned the kid in. The military just showed up fucking raping the kid. And the first time I broke into the house to see what was going on, I saw the kid. And I thought, well, this is fucking curious. Yeah. Let me go, let me go, let me go hide. See what's going on. When I say they fucking kept the kid to rape the kid, I'm speaking what I saw with my fucking eyes. Yeah. They came in, they took turns raping a little child. They take turns raping a little boy. I'm scared shitless. Yeah. I'm quiet as a mouse, which seemed like five fucking days. I left, I went and got somebody. This is what I always do. I get somebody and then I tell you, don't let anybody know you're here. Don't let anybody know you came. You witnessed this. This is what the military taught me to do when I was a kid. You bring someone, they assess the situation, they do not fucking touch. They don't even spit on the ground. They, they don't spit on the ground. They don't touch the ground. They don't fucking touch anything. Yeah. They observe and they disappear. <laughs> yeah, they observe and they disappear, and I did that. Yeah, and he's yeah, I escaped, and he showed up later on in my life in South Hill Puyallup. I thought I, thought I lost you, and I went, "Wow, that's the, yeah." I ran away because you were having sex with kids. By any chance, could you send me that video? Nope. Well, don't you have it on your uh, your account? Why would this is the thing? Why would I send it to you? I want you to think about how you're naive. Yeah. Why would anybody risk their life for you? Well, I thought you had that on your account. The, with if you're account. missing. That's what I'm saying. Why would anybody risk their life for you? Yeah. I'm, I'm asking. You know I'm saying it doesn't matter. I understand what you're thinking, and I'm asking you to slow down and let your thoughts catch up with your thinking process. The answers. Yeah. Why would Why would you risk? that to give it to some stranger right and this is what i'm saying from that day forward from that day forward i just kept getting different people hey watch this shit now see where we're getting somewhere from that moment on i just say watch this shit yeah watch this watch who shows up and they got every fucking time the military and the police the fbi the military and the police you fucking kidding me every fucking time yeah so all right all right we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call the guy But I'm not going to call the guy. We'll see how what happens. Yeah. And the, the, there's a police record, an FBI record. The guy was called. And the military showed up to rape some kids. Yeah. Let's call again. Let's call again. Let's call again. What happened? The police and the military showed up to rape some fucking kids. They participated. They just participated in the rape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess people fucking understand. I always ask somebody. And it doesn't have, it might not be you that I say, hey, you guys want to see some shit? It might be a whole fucking country. Hey, Afghanistan, you guys want to see something cool? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Australia, you want to see something cool? You want to see how the Airborne Rangers create a suicide bomber to kill you guys? Hey, Royal Marines, do you want to see how the Airborne Rangers have been creating suicide bombers to kill you guys i can show you real fucking videos real facts all of this shit 
to cover up some military men having sex with animals and children. All of this. They sent bodies. They sent a fucking unit, a whole fucking military unit to kill me. So how did you live? I said, there's a group of you guys. At least give me a fucking knife. And they thought it was funny. There's a whole fucking group of you guys. And they're telling me, well, when we're done killing you, we're going to rape your wife. She's going to be passed around in the military years after you're gone. Years after I'm gone, they're going to pass her around the fucking American way. But you make sure you have kids. You you make sure you have witnesses. Yeah. Throw me in a barrel so you can look, gaslight me into pretending you saved me. Well, some kids were going to record you throwing me in the barrel. So they know when their family was thrown in a barrel and murdered. Yeah. And the bad guys got away for doing it. Who does it? That fucking airborne rangers and the FBI. Yeah. Right. You think about in real life, you think about this, how crazy this is. In real life, you get kids from third world countries where their families are literally murdered and thrown in barrels and shit, right? Yeah. And you send these kids to my house and they get to watch the Airborne Rangers, the FBI, and some retired military men throw me in a barrel over there. Exactly how their parents were murdered. Exactly how their parents are murdered. They get to watch the FBI do that same shit. The Airborne Rangers do that same shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly how they were murdered. Exactly. Doesn't sound like man. I lost him. We'll do Cody. They, they send people. It's, you're missing the point. K, K Rocks, you can follow a different account. This isn't for you. It's for the children who got to watch the military come over and over again. <laughs> a lot. Well, I'm sure if they wanted to kill me now, they'd kill me, but it's a little bit fucking... Right? We're a little bit... A lot of witnesses now. You see what I'm saying? It's snowballed. It's snowballed. Nothing, I'm venting. I vent in the morning. What's up, Martin? What's up, how you doing? I'm chilling, how about you? Pretty good. Uh, I had a question about, because I heard the last kid, or somebody in the comments bring it up, but my question is, like, these uh, organizations or secret societies, like the Freemasons, it's like, not what a is secret the, society. Or like Skull and Bones. Not a secret society. What, you what's your opinion on them? It's just, they're just groups of men with knowledge. It's not a secret. How do you know about it if it's a secret? Well, I don't know, like, about what they really do, like, on the inside, you know? It kind what of is seems MIT, like... This is a, the physics lab at MIT, what experiment are they working on right now? I mean, who knows? Yeah, Okay. Uh, it almost seems lab. like it's Hold just on. like stop, stop. I'm helping you. The biology lab at Harvard. What are they working on right now? I wouldn't know. Okay, the lecture hall at Cambridge or Berkeley. What are they speaking about? You don't know. I wouldn't know either. Right? You know just as much about those organizations as you do as the Freemasons or the Skull and Bones. Correct. Now, can you learn more about those? Yeah, if you got off your ass and actually did research, went and reached out to them, you could learn some things. Could yeah. you learn more about the Freemasons and the Skull and Bones if you reached out to them? Absolutely. Somebody, yeah, because uh, there's, there's like a there's like a couple of Freemason lodges in my area, and I see them like around the city, and they're always like uh, wealthy business owners or you know people with, I guess, some sort of local power. So I just kind of, I I wonder about like how they get in those positions and what their role is and what they you just got to be a good person literally you just have to be a good person and then have a 
lodge, so you have to have a lodge with good people and you have to be a good person. And the, so and your, your, your brother, your brother and sister lodges have to have good people because they, they help maintain the order of your lodge. Like it's, it's very, it's, they're set up pretty interesting where they're not really self-ruling. My community yeah. lodges would make sure my lodge doesn't go, go out of hand. And I would make sure somebody else's lodge doesn't go out of hand, get out of hand. Does that make sense? Because nobody checks themselves, right? Everybody get everybody allows themselves a little extra leeway. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean. So, but I don't know about a lot of power and whatnot. But the, the, you know, you get they, you get you give they give out free fucking education, free information. Yeah, and that's what it's about. Like, there's a lot of like blurred shit on the internet that makes you kind of get a false sense of reality of what these people are really doing. And I feel like people should actually just go out there and try to educate themselves like in real life. Yeah, no, you, you, you want to, you, I don't know. Nobody cares about education. Yeah, I feel you. And also, um, how you talk about the seven seals of revelation and seeing our, our true image of the creator and the body of light. Yeah, I, I feel like I understand your analogies up to a certain point, but it's like when you get to the part about only being able to to see our image in the eyes of the creator, like it's it's that part that kind of gets me confused, you know? Well, you are created in the image of a creator, right? You know that you're told that you're created in the image of a body of light. I just show it to you. Mm. That's it. The rest is up to you. That makes sense. Yeah, that's that's like the only part I'm I've been struggling with, I guess. Yeah, I can I can I can show it to you, and I can I can teach teach you how you created in its image. The rest is all up to you, man. It's all up to you. <laughs> that's, I mean, I guess that's the point of life, huh? Right. You know how much easier you have it than everybody else in the world gathering information? I've dropped some huge breadcrumbs, some massive clues. Hell yeah. And I think like the the spread of technology is just making it easier for us, more accessible. Yeah. All right, well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to have a little quick combo with you. God bless you. Have a great day. God bless, Martin. What's up, bro? What's up? How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm really good. How, how's your morning been, I'm guessing? It's pretty good. I had I had four cameos this morning, knocked them out real quick, and then, you know, went about my business. That's pretty cool. Um, You still doing push-ups or what? No. Really? No more push-ups? Yeah. How come? Well, I, I do them. I do them. Pro I do them. I'm not doing them online anymore. Uh... Because, like, I haven't been on my social media for a while, like, going on lives and stuff. And I haven't seen your person a bit, so I thought you are still doing push-ups. No, not right now. I might I might do push-ups after New Year's. I haven't really decided. Uh, well, I'm hoping to get back to it, bro. Yeah, I mean, I do push-ups. I'm just not doing them on the live feed right now. Just, just one thing for the classics. You're well, because literally, like, every, everybody wants to do push-ups. and Yeah, like, it's been a bit. <laughs> I yeah. thought I was going to get on here and do, some, do a couple push-ups with you. Yeah, I might after New Year's do push-ups. I haven't really decided. Well, so. hopefully I can get on with you one day. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I got it. So, I, I, the thing with exercising like that is you can't go too fast. Yeah. I, I have, you know, I have a traumatic brain injury. And when you do, when you go too fast, the memories you get back don't match the memories that were given to you or the reality that you were given to live in. Yeah. So you have to go slow so you can find the truth. You think about people ask about uh, schizophrenia and things like that as you're, and this is very interesting. If I gave you a traumatic brain injury where you didn't remember certain things, yeah. but you don't know, you don't know you have that traumatic brain injury because I took advantage of you, right? To rob your house, rape your wife, whatever it is. I gave you a trauma induced blackout. Well, as your memory starts to come back, 
the the real memory of reality starts to overlap the fake ones that you were you were given, and it causes a disassociation with reality and a little bit of schizophrenic behavior in you to the people around you because they don't know. I mean, how would anybody know I, I I hurt you and took some of your memories away so you remember I hurt you? The whole point of doing it is so that you don't tell anybody, right? Yeah, I guess. Right. So the whole point of doing that is so that you don't tell anybody. Well, as your memory gets better from exercising, it go it can go too fast. So you, if your memory comes back too fast, and you don't you don't do all of the things you're taught to do. To, in those situations to keep your psychology up, your your psychology will fall apart like bad. You always teach some new things. So, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I'm not exercising right now because uh, I'm back on. I'm back on my memory of why these original attacks and things like that with me and my wife have been going on. I'm back yeah. onto the original. I remember the original guy, an original man who kept a child. For, in exchange, blackmailed for silence. But I remember an original. I don't know if he's military or police. But see, if I now I know I know I, myself remembering that. Like there's a lot of horror in that guy, in my guy, in mine, and that guy's life together. Exists. There's a lot of horror. I can't be doing a lot of push-ups. I got to go slow because yeah. I don't want all of that shit at once. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. It's a bit too uh, early for me. It's 4 a.m. I'm in Australia. <laughs> so my yeah. brain isn't really working right now. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate the talk. Could I get a screenshot if you don't mind? Yeah, I don't know why, but yeah. No, because me and my friend have been following you for a while. So he would, he hasn't, I don't think he joined, so he'll never believe it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was good talking to you, man. God bless you. Have a great day. Take care. Yeah, PTSD, depersonalization, and tr and trauma induced blackouts. You got you, you got to go really slow, man. Cody. Shit. How you doing? How's it going? Pretty good. Um. All right. So, what are your thoughts on everything going on with COVID right now? Nothing. That. <laughs> Shit. I thought. I thought. I, 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 there. I think there's a vote to see if it's going to become like an actual plague, which is interesting. So, right, we, it has the it has the capabilities right now to evolving into something humanity has not even prepared to fight. Do you so, think like do you think this is like the this whole year is kind of rather than a specific day of reckoning as referenced in the Bible? Do you think this is just one of those events that's trying to signal to us? Well, you know, the universe just repeats itself. Until you get the signal. So, we, you know, there's a huge thing about the simulation theory. It, 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 you know, in the tech industry and, and physics, the simulation. The universe just repeats itself. And you go, well, for how long? They go, forever. And you go, why forever? Because that's how long it takes for humanity to wake up. And you go, what? That's interesting. The simulation lasts as long as it needs to last, basically, <laughs> till everybody gets up the update. You know, it's like thinking like, you know, you know, the Bible and you're asking about that. The universe just repeats itself over and over again. You know, you can make history. <laughs> you know, we, all, know. Do. we all hope to. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I have, I, pos I yeah, I, I possess some information that can help you exit the simulation if you like it if you if you know you're willing to decipher it and go through it you know it's in an autistic perspective but all the world's greatest information was in an autistic perspective and then some other somebody else had to take it and go there's a lot of sense in here 
We just need to organize it so it makes sense to you. You know, um, I, it's, it's, yeah, I, 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 I think, you know, when you're talking about events in the Bible, the Bible just spoke about something that literally was already spoken about on, on the, on the, uh, Mayan calendar, which is very interesting. The prophecies. Well, you go, you know, I always go ahead. So, um, apparently in the Gregorian calendar, when we were transitioning, apparently it had like a plus eight year difference or whatever. So this actually should be the year 2012. Yeah. But Brady made it past December twenty first, so I think we're fine. Yeah, but so, yeah, but so you think about the, the prophet. You're asking about the the events of this year playing out in the Bible. Well, if you're interested in that because it aligns so much, imagine how much it aligns with the original source of the information, and that's where it gets scary. People are like, oh, the apocalypse is mat- the Bible is matching with the Bible, and you go, yeah, but that's a rewritten story of a rewritten story of a rewritten story, and some of it is still lining up. Imagine. Ten, ten, ten translations ago, how much it matches. A hundred. Now, with the original, then it gets spooky. You know, what's in the original prophecies about, about, about stuff? And you go, with, you know, Joseph Smith or the Mormons, they already tried to play out the original prophecy, just like other people have. But the universe has to do it, too. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can, you can, now, this is interesting. There's a prophecy. And the Romans went, well, let's just, let's fulfill it. Let's fulfill it. Battery notification. Right? And, 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 and the Mormons, Joseph Smith and things like let, yeah, let's fulfill it. And that's Mingo. Let's fulfill it. It doesn't work. You have to let the universe fulfill it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Then it does make it a bit clearer. Yeah, the, you know, the, the Romans go, let's make a Messiah. You know, other people, let's make a Messiah. Let's make the Messiah. Let's make it. And you go, well, when you made it, people don't, re- I mean, there's some people who follow the made up one. But then your made up one has so many holes that, that you can punch with truth. The other half of the world doesn't follow it. Right? Like, I just find it weird because you take into consideration there are many different religions correct mm-hmm. now when you think of the three primary you have judaism christianity and islam right yeah so choosing one of those being assigned to one of those by birth like that already means to follow you have like a two out of three chance of being wrong which is just you have a three and three chance of being wrong <laughs> I said two out of three, just because like... No, but you have, now we're getting some. We have a three out of three chance of being wrong. Now you think about it. What is, the, what is religion from the beginning, from every civilization told you? The one true religion will give you the creator and teach you how you're created in its image. Every other religion will pretend. With deception, we'll trick you. And that's interesting. We will trick you with deception. We will trick you with. I mean, history is like, well, written by the victors. So, like, whoever decides to just take. Now it you're getting somewhere. Situation. Listen to what you said. Now you got. This is situation, interesting. Simulation. What did you just say? The spoils go to the victor. Exactly. When I was before my bar mitzvah, going, through, you know, learning stuff in Hebrew. As I learned this, watch. This is, I'm pretending I'm a. Uh, I'm a. I'm an old Hebrew. They used to make, get mad at me when I did this because I don't do my hair the way they the do. Image is there. So I, it's an old Hebrew man went like this. <laughs> For Easter. Yes, your bar I. mitzvah, right? You're doing a bar mitzvah, right? You're turning you're of age in Jewish community, right? right? You're turning of age. You're becoming a man. As a man in the old days, see this bread right here? We got it when the light of the world sacrificed itself on a crossover from energy or the light into the bread that we have here. Your, right? your daily bread and your last supper. But, son, I need you to remember this. It's important if I die. Yes, so your yes. sisters and your aunts and your everybody can eat. You need to remember this. is the most important part, okay? Because if I die, you're the only one that takes over. After the light of the world sacrificed itself, on a cross over from energy into matter to give us our daily bread on Easter in Judaism, you can take that daily bread 
And instead of making bread, take the seeds, its dead body, wrap it in a shroud, son. Place it in a tomb and it will rise again three days later. I need you to remember that for if I die. Okay. And then okay. You go, <clears throat> this is what they taught in Judaism. And then some Romans went by, literally. <clears throat> what happened to your grandpa? Oh, he got shot with a, with a fucking crossbow. Why? Well, he was teaching his son. <laughs> this was for reals. He was teaching his son I'm sorry. Sorry, how the I'm light sorry. of the world <laughs> sacrifices itself on a cross to give them their daily bread and their last supper. Or how you can wrap its dead body in a shroud to rise again three days later on Easter, springtime, when you pick, when you plant your, your farm. He was teaching that, and they killed him. You go, okay, that's interesting. So the guy's teaching me this, and don't repeat it. Don't ever speak a word about it. You only tell it to your son when your son's bar mitzvah. I'm like, I'm not even Jewish. My kid's not having a bar mitzvah. And they're like, you're Jewish. Get over it. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They're like, yeah, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He says, you can teach it to your son, but you don't teach it to the public. So why? He says, just like my great grandpa, when my great grandpa was teaching it and took a took a crossbow to the chest, my grandpa was teaching it, and the military just showed up and shot him in the face. They just murdered him. You're not a teacher. Every anybody on the planet who teaches it, boom, dead. Think about that, though. Isn't the Jewish community teaching their kids? If you teach this, you will be shot dead on the spot. They just murder you on the spot. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. They just kill you dead in the street. Yeah, it cut out. Hopefully it comes back. You think about that, though. You in, a, in the Jewish community, if you teach how the sun in the sky turns water into wine, gives you your oh. daily bread and stuff, the Roman Empire had yep. military show up and kill you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm just making sure. Okay, so keep going. So you said something about the the sacrificing the light, or, or no, no, oh, yeah, so, yeah, well, yeah, so you know, bread, right? And I'm talking, pretend, pretend you're. You're Hebrew, and this is 2,000 years ago where there's no electricity, no lawnmowers, no tractors, uh -huh. no store to get any resources, right? Yeah. You actually have to germinate your own seeds, harvest your own everything. You have to do everything, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll start over. Sure making sure the, the soil's like not, you know. Yeah. Right so, so your bar mitzvah, you turn of age in the Hebrew community to start having responsibilities on our farm, right? Uh -huh. So you're my son. It's your bar mitzvah. We do your bar mitzvah. And then I sit you down and I go, look, this is the light of the world that uh -huh. has sacrificed itself on a cross okay. to turn into your daily bread and your last supper. Yeah, yeah. Now look, son, this is important. You cannot forget this. If you don't turn it into your daily bread and your last supper, you can take its dead body, seeds, Wrap them in a shroud, place them in a tomb, and they will germinate again, rise again three days later. Its okay. dead body will come back to life in front so, of your eyes. So, so you, said, you said some. sorry to cut you off, but you, you said something that, um, you said your grandpa was teaching So, a Hebrew, somebody was, a, a Hebrew was teaching me, a Jewish person was teaching me this, and then, like, to teach my son, but it... The end of the story is like this, though. Now, okay. Martin, you do not teach this in public or to the public. They will shoot you. They will kill you. They will hang you. They will murder your wife on the spot. Uh -huh. and I'm, like, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what are you fucking talking about? And he's literally, he's like, my grandpa, in a generation of my grandpa, the burning of the Jews, they used to teach that on bar mitzvahs. And the whole world got together. To murder everybody on the planet that would teach that. Mm -hmm. And they literally said, if you continue to teach it, we're doing a genocide. And we'll show you with the Jews who still teach it. We'll murder all the Jews for teaching how 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 originally the sun of the sun in the sky rose again, not Jesus Christ on mm -hmm. Easter. 
They so, really do. So, so what do you think about like? Because obviously, like, like a lot of the spiritual stuff, like, um, even the teachings, like with the uh, with Moses and the burning bush and whatnot. Like, do you think like? Because there were scientists who were speculating that the bush was like the acacia plant or something. Well, no, that's all why. Now we're getting somewhere. Why do they lie? Now uh-huh. we're getting somewhere. The original linguistics to see the body of light is separate than Moses. So there's okay. two stories. I shouldn't say two. There's there's a bunch of different stories, books, that we put uh-huh. together to make Moses. Mm-hmm. Right? So there's a, sto- there's a story in, in Greek. Uh, um, so Moses would, hold on. so you're saying Moses isn't like a real like no, person. it never. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just, no. I'm just making sure I know where you're going. Okay, okay. No, yeah, no. I'm, not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really like a. Now we're getting somewhere. None okay. of the characters in the Bible are real. Okay. And they said that. And they, we 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 created these stories to get a religious moral point across. When you get the religious moral point. Mm-hmm. And you're no longer suffering that internal turmoil. Your brain is not bogged down going, oh my God, I shouldn't kill my neighbor. You have all that extra free brain power now. Mm-hmm. There's, a, there's, there's a lifting of the veil. There's hidden information. Okay. So so what so, do you think about like the DMT stuff though? Not real. So, 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 we know so that. You think, that you think that's like just uh, your brain activity and whatever your conscious Well, let's, then Now let's get somewhere. Let me finish this 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 phrase though. So okay. you're talking about the burning bush and things like that. So there's a story in in Aztec and Incan, Mayan, uh huh, Babylonian, Assyrian, and Egyptian. Prior to the sun disk, you had to you had to allow a tree uh, uh, in the right spot uh, with the sun setting. So it basically said God has to will the universe to align this up for the body of light to appear in front of you in a burning bush. Okay. It literally just says you, you got, you wander, you wander the woods, you wander around every sunrise and every sunset. And if God chooses, everything will line up and, and, and a body will appear to be standing in a burning bush, but only when God chooses to do so. Okay. So what about like the, what about like the Aztecs, like, and, or I think it was mostly the Aztecs that were like sacrificing like thousands of people a day. Now we're getting and, somewhere. Yeah. Okay. In the old days, to settle war, we gave you virgins. We gave you wet. Like you come to conquer me, I just give you some sheep, some pigs, some gold, you know, whatever. And if I can't fight you, right? That's how they settled the agreement. Right, an, an emissary, you, you would said one person would march out, and I automatically knew I need to send my person out with the, the news of what I'm offering you to not go to war with me, or the news that we're going to war with you. Okay. So, we're talking about the, the virgins, and I studied this, like, why did they do these so many virgins and shit? They literally, the body of light appeared, so that their spiritual shaman, whatever, would go, it's here, I see it. And they, okay. they, send, them, they send their emissary out. It's a real body of light. It exists, right? Mm -hmm. You can't see it, but it exists. So somebody there sees it and they go, okay, send the guy out. We're going to offer gold, some cows, some things like that. And Mm -hmm. uh, it'll take the offering and walk and and turn around. You pick up the offering, you walk away. Mm -hmm. The emissary comes back and you're watching and okay, it didn't pick up the goods. We left it gold. It didn't take the gold. We put food. It didn't take the food. We give it livestock. It didn't take it. It just left it there. It wants to go to war. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, so, so... So, before... Hey, listen, listen. Okay, let's attack it before it attacks us. Mm-hmm. We send our best archers, our best spears, our best warriors to attack it before it attacks us. And they attack it. And they come back and you go, Oh, how was the battle? What, did we win? They go, Every arrow we had, every spear we throw, we pierced it. But we didn't pierce it. Mm-hmm. I shot the arrow through its eye. But the arrow didn't go through its eye. I stabbed it in the heart. But the the knife did not penetrate its heart. Uh Uh-huh. Everything we did, with every soldier we had, we couldn't even get it to blink. It didn't even tremble. It didn't turn away. It stood fast. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, fuck. Let's just start offering it virgins. 
and see how that goes. And they did that, literally. They start offering virgins, and the, the time goes by, and they're like, okay, whew, it went away. And that, okay. over years go by, they go, hey, wait a minute. After a certain period of time, it goes away anyways. It doesn't matter how many virgins we sacrifice to it. It just goes away. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Trial and error. Yeah, yeah. Cause and I in that literature, it literally states, later on in life, they're like later on in the pyramids, they say, don't have to sacrifice the virgins. It just goes away on its own. Uh-huh. Then it, then it became, what is it doing? And the, you know, the mind calendar, the first calendar, the oldest calendar, it's watching us. What's it watching for? It's look, it must be looking for its lost child. Uh -huh. How long is it coming? How long will it always come till they find its lost, till it finds its child? It's looking for its child. We think it's a parent looking for its child. So, so would you say, because like, I always thought that the Aztecs were messing around with mushrooms or some type of uh, psilocybin or DMT or whatever, and nope. that they were basically communicating with something that's beyond this side. And, and I always thought that that would be like, like demons manipulating them into killing off. Well, now we're getting somewhere. You were led to believe it was drugs. So you got a half truth in your belief. You were led by demons. You were manipulated by demons into believing it was drugs. Uh huh. Somewhere now in Machu Picchu, and when you're saying I was led to believe it's drugs, they actually tell you a golden disc fell out of the sky that allowed us to see the Creator. No drugs involved. You get what I'm saying? Somebody had to make sure they didn't tell you that on purpose. Yeah. You okay. see what I'm getting at? On purpose. Like, you're talking about, I always thought that South America, these Aztecans, they, they, they did drugs. And go, well, well, they specifically tell, teach you in history class, a golden disc fell out of the sky. And that golden disc is what they used to see God. Yeah, because, like, I mean, I, I, I saw that stuff, but, I mean, I was taught about the, the Aztecs and the Mayans in school. But, you know, like, the way they teach it, they're just like, oh, these are artifacts. These are, you know, just stuff they made. And this is what they believed in, but from, you know, like looking at other stuff on the internet and seeing all these other scientists talking, speculating on what they were doing as to why, like, like, cause you know, they, in a sense, like, let's say there's plenty of natives and native tribes that have even other cultures beyond the natives that have wrote or, you know, spoke about aliens visiting this planet or something. But, you know, some people say that, Who's to say, like, like, what if that was them, you know, because the pagans, think about the pagans. They were also experimenting. The Europeans had a, 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 a well-experienced um, history in, in psilocybin and DMT. Now, I, I wouldn't say it's psilocybin. Now, wait, wait, wait. The generation with the most amount of diseases has the greatest history with drugs. And now we're getting, now this is interesting. Listen to what you're saying. The, the actual... European class, the actual, the real history of drugs, psych, psychedelics, you have the biggest segment of diseases and, and, and birth defects and shit like that. Now, the Incans and the Mayans, you know, those cultures, Africans, Middle Eastern people, that we told you did drugs to see God, but actually used the sun disc, have the healthiest genetics. It's almost so, like it's a false agenda uh, sent to you guys on purpose. It's not spreading across the world. Uh huh. So, so what would you say the sun disc is? What What is this sun disc? It, 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 it's not. It's nothing. It, it's noise canceling headphones. What do noise canceling headphones do? Uh, I mean, besides just cancel everything out. I mean, I'm sure you can hear the bloodstream in your head. Really. Okay. I, so I mean, now we'll get somewhere. But can you hear your bloodstream in your head now? Without all that other noise being canceled out that makes it so you can't hear it. No, right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, a sun disc. Okay. Know, it's like noise canceling head. There's a body of light in front of your face right now and you can't see it. Well, how do I see it? I need light can I need a light canceling sun disc. I need a sun disc that will cancel out <clears throat> the light that's preventing me from seeing it. Okay. So so what do you like what is it like like for example for you? Like, are you, would you identify as Christian or agnostic or what do you, 
identify as in, in those regards of your religious beliefs because for I'm you, very, I'm you right believe? now I'm, I'm completely horrified of Christianity. Uh-huh. Okay. You don't understand. Like I'm, I, I, uh, I'm fucking terrified of Christianity. They, it is, I've never in my life seen that amount of evil mm -hmm. be portrayed by people who, who, Proclaim to be that pure. Proclaim to be that pure. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was fucking crucified. I mean, think of it. In real life, me and my wife were beaten, raped, tortured. I was crucified in the name of Jesus for teaching what I teach, for showing people how to take care of themselves by Christians. I mean, they're like okay. fucking raping me and my wife in, in the middle of it. Like we're in the name of Jesus. Get, the, so, get these demons out of these two guys. Like, they're like, in the name of Jesus, get the demons out of Martin while they're fucking raping me. In the name of Jesus, get the demons out of my wife while they're fucking raping us. So, that you said the military was doing that? The U.S. military? Yeah, the, yeah, the U.S. military and, the, and they had uh, civilians as well. They made, so, they were trying to get me to kill some people. So, they would do these things. The military would set up rape, torture, and then have civilians show up afterwards so that I would kill the civilians, but I just let the civilians torture me as well. Mm -hmm. It didn't really, does that make sense? Yeah, so, yeah. So I torture you trying to cause you to have a breakdown. And when I get you to the point where every, you know, cause it's a, it's something we do all the time. I get you to the point where everybody else has a breakdown and wants to kill people. Then I send some civilians in to do the same shit I just did. So you'll kill them. Mm -hmm. I just setting up, you know, I, I basically just set, set you up to kill people for me like now who did yeah. i send some people who were going to turn me in <laughs> now i'm like you know i think about the military like real life you know the people they sent to my house to, were just the ones that would have spoken up about war crimes they they just murdered they had each they had they assassinated each other basically so so would you say the u.s military would be like more majority Christian and then the Israeli, like, cause obviously look at what's going on with ISIS. And so here's the thing. The U S military is not even supposed to be Christian. Uh huh. Hoorah. They have a phrase to make sure Christianity, Jude, any religion doesn't take over the, the military. Uh -huh. Now we're getting somewhere in order for Christianity to overtake a military. That's that's supposed to represent every religion. That military has to be taken over by a terrorist organization. Okay. You can think about that. What is the who does yeah. the military represent? Just the Christians or every every American citizen, every religion? Mm -hmm. Who do they represent? Every religion, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was. Yeah. I was, so they I they that. they're supposed to represent every religion while they're out there murdering and torturing people from other religions into silence. So so like, would you say like that's like what's going on with like the gaslighting of ISIS and Israeli like stuff? Like, because obviously I think Israel does have a lot of uh, investment in you know like these rebel uh, terrorist groups, and then essentially since we're already allied with Israel, it's like gaslighting between the two to kind of start conflicts with other groups. And yeah, we're 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 we're, we're being gaslit right now to to support. I mean, you think about it. We don't have any money right now as a country, do we? Yeah, like right now we're in major debt. But, but, yeah. but we're lending money to other countries because they don't want to borrow it themselves and accrue interest. You think about how fucking crazy that is? Congress went, hey, Cambodia doesn't want to pay interest on their th this year's budget for themselves. They just requested us give them the money debt free, interest free. Okay. Well, who's going to pay the interest? The American children. Mm -hmm. Well, why has why American children got to pay this bill? Oh, because some other country doesn't want to pay its own bill. Like, it's not, you're not, I'm not asking you to pay extra. That's another, like the other country doesn't want to pay its own bills. Yeah. So, so like recently we just, what, gave away like 9 billion to Israel and like, what are they using that for? Like, look at what's going on with the no, second. Yeah, no, get so much. Lobbyists to lobby our country so that you don't get an education. This is fucking crazy. Our the United States economy, citizens, they give money away. We pay people to come here to, uh -huh. to make it like we gave you money. And what do you do with that money, other country? Oh, we're we're lobbying to keep your education back. Thank you for the money. We're using it to keep your your to make sure your children are left behind. Okay. Thank you for the money. You see what I'm saying? That's fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah. 
so so what would you like when shit hits the fan in the u.s because I'm, I'm sure something will eventually happen like if, if nothing happens then I, I don't know what will um like what what countries do you think would be like a recommendation for certain people if they feel like they need to get out of the country because look at Canada, I mean, I feel like all of these countries, I feel like a lot of the major... I don't have a public recommendation. What? I don't have a public recommendation. Okay, okay. So, so... Okay. The, like, the, it's, think about gaslighting and Stockholm Syndrome, right? So, I have kids that go places, right? Mm -hmm. In real life, the, the military set up situations and, and the FBI... So, my wife, while I was a traumatic brain injury, I would tell her who to call and what to do so we could be taken to the place where the kids were. Mm -hmm. I thought it was very interesting. They don't have authorization to do that. So they used murder and homicide to try and trick me and to give like you're asking right now, where should they go? Where should we go? My wife literally because of the military in the middle of the night, we got to go. It's, you know, situation, yeah. you know, and, and, uh, in real, and we were trained for this and, you know, get my stuff ready and think, Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> the people are trying to get me to take you somewhere, babe, are the bad guys. You don't know it. <laughs> she just didn't know it. Fucking uh -huh. cold-hearted fucking murderers. It's so crazy. So That's the best yeah, thing. Right? That's the best thing. Can you imagine if you're the Taliban or ISIS, you can videotape me brutally torturing and raping American citizens, and then you videotape me uh, parading those victims around like I was the hero and saved them from myself. I saved you from myself. They put it in the news. They let you fucking per like they the, the 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 police, the whole military base. They allow me to parade you around to show the rest of the world you can't be trusted. Like the military, they did, they have no idea what they did to themselves. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like so, we can pretend it never happened, but the whole fucking world watched you guys try to make a suicide bomber and a terrorist. Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you think? Well, do, what do you think about like the Nashville bombing? Uh, I mean, like, do you feel like we have to just wait until find out if more info comes out, or do you feel like when that we, might be another I don't know if the national, I don't know if that's real or not. Okay, so you think that might be like a false flag type? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's real. Okay, and this is like, and I, I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but you know, I'm just saying I don't think it's real. Mm -hmm. Okay, right? but what do you mean by you don't think it's real? Like, do you think it like a false flag situation, or what? What, what do you mean by you don't think it's real? Like, what's your I definition? Just, I, I don't believe anything in the news. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I, I think they did definitely do, um, you know, I think, what was it, Mockingbird or, or whatever, Mockingjay, I forgot, it was Project Mockingjay. Oh, yeah, yeah, mo yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I do feel like they do have a lot of influence in the media, and that's why I'm kind of skeptical about, you know, a lot of the shit they put out there. Um but for for back real fast back to the uh, the sun you, you said the uh, sound canceling headphones the the yeah if you need like if we were in a concert right now and you would need sound canceling mm -hmm. headphones to hear me mm -hmm. why would you what makes you think you would not need some kind of light canceling device to see the body of light you're created in the image of they literally tell you it's uh -huh. too bright for you to see it's in front of your face but you can't see it well shit I need I need a monstrance something. To create solar flares, lens flare. I would need lens flare, right? Mm -hmm. Something bright. What is a yeah. lens flare? Super bright. I need a super bright light to cancel mm -hmm. out the other bright light that I can't see. And then all of a sudden it becomes visible. Make sense? Uh huh. Yeah. So, so for your brain, or not your uh, brain, I'm, I'm thinking about the fucking false flag. And <laughs> That's that right. Kind of but um, uh, for like meditation wise, what do you do? What's your like, do you put on sound canceling headphones and put something no. over your eyes, or what do you do? No, I'm, I, you know, I just do whatever. <laughs> okay, okay, because I, I, you know, some people, I, I don't know if some people actually do do that. Um, they put on sound canceling headphones to make sure everything's kind of quiet for them to hear. Just you know, yeah. <clears throat> but but um, yeah, if you need noise canceling headphones, then you're obviously gonna to you're gonna you're gonna need light canceling. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying it's just common sense. Uh huh. I, I, it, it, and I don't know if that make, does it really make sense to you. Yeah, it do, it does. It does. I'm just sitting here like because I'm I'm just trying to. I, I I've seen some of your videos online for a while, and I'm just trying to really understand you more and like 
hear a lot of what you're saying. So I'm that's all why over the place. So many questions, you know. I'm all I'm all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I've been seeing that, man. You've been doing a lot of good work, man. A lot of good. Work. I don't know about good work. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, I, mean so like, I try to do it. So I, I have this this military man and this uh, Doctor Courtney Hunt that keep fucking torturing me to pretend that we're friends and that. <laughs> they're good people like straight up like you have no idea the fucking horror i've been through for just so some children can can be can be shown not to trust the military or the fbi and all i mean it's fucking bad you have no idea when was the last time you've gotten in, in contact or have heard from them like well you know how often is this is this like a you know, yearly thing it's a yearly yeah. thing yearly it's about 1997 she's been coming with some military men Man, that's that's yeah. So some, somebody somebody's talking about. Somebody said in the in the comments, "Can you talk about Josh?" So uh, my neighbors, Alan Jerry and her. So my na- na- yes. So this is fucking. I don't understand who, what the big like. What's going on? Because like I said, I don't believe in the news. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I don't believe in any of that shit. Because all I know is that my neighbors, Alan Jerry, used to set up rape scenarios and um so they would on take who? on who though like susan powell's daughter susan powell so that my neighbors when she would spend the night at her parents house they would they would take her out of the house and then just rape her in the yard and her dad would watch and then they would like it like it was no big fucking deal it was just something they did like they would forcibly like they were burglars you know like That's pretend fun. to be burglars go into her house Look, she's screaming, terrified. Like it's a real deal for her, but it's not real for the for the men involved. So and then, where, uh, where was this currently at? Like, was this in Mexico or the U.S.? No, it's just fucking South Hill, Puyallup, Washington. Oh, okay, okay. So keep so, going. Yeah, they would set up these rape scenarios, and then um, it wasn't real for her. I mean, it wasn't fake for her, if that makes sense. Like, she would freak the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. And um yeah. So so they so what about Josh that so they like kill so, them? So, or? Well, you know, my neighbor Jerry told Josh to kill her. Like if you don't want people to if you don't want this to get out, it's embarrassed, whatever, just kill her, man. Call it a fucking day. And that's so and I asked her for a gate key to unlock the gate. So behind like, you know, I'm thinking well obviously I don't know. I don't know. I have autism, so I just fucking watch. But I asked her for a gate key. Okay. And after that gate key and her, them raping her and them tell like my neighbors just told her like in front of her fucking dad like just kill her. And her dad was like, "Yeah, kill that fucking hoe. What a disgrace to my name." What the fuck? Yeah, type of deal. Yeah. And then nobody said shit. And then like later on, I'm like seeing shit in the news about. I'm like. Like they changed the whole story type shit, like just to kind of manipulate it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's like I'm trying, like so. Then I'm like, hey, shit, shit isn't making any sense. Okay, that's, <laughs> like that's and, crazy, man. That's yeah, and then that's, you get fucking hurt. Like, okay, and then you're right next to that too. So fuck. Yeah, like they, literally, like you don't understand. They used to like they would pull Susan Powell out of the house, and she would be fucking scared. Like she oh, wasn't God. playing. She wasn't fucking playing. And her dad would just watch and the neighbors would do their oh. shit. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's Sodom and Gomorrah here. <laughs> Fuck. So, 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 was this house, you said this is next door, right? Yeah, and those are my, the neighbors. You just would my hear this constantly? Like, like, if they were raping somebody, you would hear this? Yes. Yeah, that's what, like, the men in the neighborhood were like, oh, it's just the game we play. It's normal. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? When did you confront? When did you confront them? Like, like, did you have a gun on you to make sure you were safe when you? No, no, no. I just no, because they were no, because they they want they kept trying to get me to kill people. So now we're like, this is even. They're like trying to. I, I just like it's fucking scary. Like they just kept trying to get me to murder people in the community, kill the police, <laughs> kill my <laughs> wife. You're sorry to cut you off. You're looking out the windows. I'm thinking like you're looking out there to make sure no one's there. Yeah, I'm like, if you fucking come, <laughs> this like, life like literally, like, <laughs> just think about this. My my home association, before I moved here, uh-huh. like, 
the men, they just have fucking orgies in yards and shit. What the fuck? And yeah, like just fucking animals and fucking kids, and it's just a big, huge fucking orgy mess. And they oh bring the military God. men around, and I, I'm like, ah, freaking out. Like fucking and then I, Babylon, bro. I'm dude, like, it's fucking, it's fucking you, bad. Have you tried to move? Like, like, have you tried to, did you move? Well, like. They just like yeah, they just move you places so they can fucking do it more. It's crazy. Oh, it's fucking God. nuts. This is like Babel. Like it's like that Sodom and Gomorrah. I tell my yeah. wife, <laughs> it's like Sodom and Gomorrah around here, babe. She's like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, yeah, you don't remember either. But I, it's rough. Like fucking a, babe. Man, that, that is this is normal. Like they, like literally fucking raping. The first year I moved in here, my fucking neighbor guys, they just running around raping people, and the whole community's like. Oh, it's just a game they play. It's a game we play. It's training. It's a game. I'm like, are you fucking Fuck. kidding me? These girls are fucking bleeding uh, on their way home from the bus stop. It's a fucking game. Oh my god. That's what they. That's like the whole community. The whole neighborhood was like, it's normal. This is what happens. It's a yes. game. It's a game. I'm like, no, it's not normal. And I keep freaking out, and I get better to where I can talk like I am today. Uh huh. To get all this stuff out of my head, and I think about not being able to speak. All of that information just bogging down my brain. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, that is so. Because I was about to say, you said that they would just find where you live and try to do it there too. That's tough, man. That is a well. So I met. So I now we're getting. So I met my neighbors. Okay. In real life, I used to do some work for police departments and things like that. You know, my uncle was a police officer and he died, and I made it my duty. I swore to myself, I would always try and take care of police officers. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I had, yeah, an, officer, yeah. I had an officer die saving my life. And, and uh, even worse, it was turned out it was my, my own family. Oh, my So God. I made an oath. Like, I make an oath. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know? Because I, I, I was thinking about getting into the military or at least the police force, but... There's so much stuff that's going on, you know. Yeah. So my, my uncle was an officer and he was killed. So I made an oath, like, I'm always going to help the police and take care of the police and protect the police. And I did. You don't understand. Like, I had the greatest fucking childhood with the police. Do it, like, some bad, some good, but I did some crazy shit. And I, I remember just Officer JR, he, le- he transferred out of, out of the Piaat Police Department. I don't know where the fuck he went. And because um, I'm such a pain in the ass, I got transferred up to the Sher- Pierce County Sheriff's up on South Hill. Yeah. And we're doing the bus. They're doing the bus. It's like a week into it. Mm-hmm. And this, uh, uh, I think it was, a, I don't know if it was the African American guy or uh, the what, the Caucasian guy showed up from the military. And the, the police went, we're done. Close it up. Let them go. They walk. We'll set it up when they're back. When, and I'm like, what do you mean? They're like well, the military doesn't get arrested. We don't perp- we don't prosecute. We don't we don't do anything. They're they are fucking kill everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm like what? So I'm like, nah, that can't be real. And then I was like, that can't be fucking real. You know, I'm a kid. That can't be fucking real. So I set it up. I set it set it up again. And sure as shit, the African military guys like you don't the military literally. We don't get in trouble for this shit. You don't know how bad you fucked up, boy. <laughs> and then my neighbor Gary showed up. And then some other people showed up. They killed the other people, and they made Jerry a hero. <laughs> so what would you, like, 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 what do you think, or like, because there's a lot of Masons in the police force, you know? Like, you can just... I don't can, think there is. You don't think there's a lot of Masons in the police? Nope. Uh, well, what do you think about the Masons in general? I like them. They're nice. You like the Masons? Yeah, they're nice. Well, like, what's like? I mean, I, I hear a lot about a, a lot of uh, you know good work about them, like that they do for the community. They do a lot. They do yeah. a lot. You don't understand a lot of donations and all this other. You're fucking stuff, in, but, like, look at I, your educate. Now, this is int- this is a real fact of reality. If it wasn't for the Freemasons, the United States would have already fucking folded in on itself. Uh-huh. That's, That's nuts. Nice. What a little bit of education you have now came from, you, you, you think about um, 
an underground pipeline, right? The little bit of education out around the world today that you're not paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for was smuggled out of colleges and government organizations and militaries by the Freemasons using an underground pipeline. Mm-hmm. For real. <laughs> so, so straight up. Like, what, what do you think about the people who are like anti Mason? Like, do you think that that's just like fear propaganda to like what? To, like, like they're like anti Mason. Like, like let's well, say yeah, now we get somewhere. Now you think about think this. that they're yeah. like the Illuminati. Well, let's th- sing a. The Freemasons right now are pumping out all kinds of information in cartoons, comics, fucking TVs, movies, f- real science, real physics, quantum mechanics, the most advanced information, costs billions of dollars to create, and they're giving it to you guys for free as dialogue in movies, as dialogue in fantasy, as, uh-huh. as, as pages in a comic book. They spent 80 fucking billion dollars on something and then they made a billion dollars and they were they're in the whole 79 billion dollars every fucking every fucking movie they make that has shit in it from them they're in the whole several why would they be in the business of, of fucking losing money mm-hmm. yeah, like, that makes- oh, they're in the business of giving you an education without you realizing it well that seems like a business that you would lose so money. so are you a mason i'm just myself Okay, okay. I was, but, um, so, like, because I've seen a lot of, like, even in the Doritos commercial, but why is the, like, satanic, why, why is it, uh... You gotta, you gotta pull your head out of your butt. There's not as... If we tell you something satanic, because we know you're gonna see it all the time, that doesn't make it satanic. It just means we knew you'd see it all the time. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying I believe it, but, uh, I'm saying that there's a lot of people who associate the devil with the Masons, and and I don't know. I, I sometimes yeah, I just see a, a corrupt, a corrupt, a corrupt religious teacher would teach his followers the Masons are are, are the devil. They're evil. Now, why? Well, because you're going to get a free education from the Mason, and that free education might stop you from giving me money every Sunday as your religious teacher. And if I don't want to, if I don't want to lose that money, I got to teach you you're, that the Masons are the devil. I want that free money these people give me every Sunday because they don't know what I'm talking about. So they don't know I'm lying. Would you say that the school system is like obviously messed up in the U.S. and it's it's fucking bad in the U.S. Yeah. So so, so <laughs> if it is really fucked and it's like they do give out a lot of misinformation, if that's what you'd call it, to a certain extent of what they teach. And the Masons are running it or backing it. What's going on there, then? Like they're they're backing what? Are you just making if, stuff. If, up? if we're getting the free education and whatnot through the school yeah. system, and let's say you're not getting it from the school system, though. You're getting so it from who's the running the school books. system? Who's running the school system? Christians. So that's what. Okay, okay, okay. I'm now we're getting sure. somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. I want Christianity to know took that. over the nation, and they and their first priority. Stop educating you. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm not making that shit up. Christianity took over the United States and their number one priority. Stop educating American children. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that a lie? No, it's not. That's fa- real truth. And that's where people you know, argue with me. You know, or want to, they get mad and they don't want to argue. I'm like, go look it up. Is it real or not? Do Christians run the country when it comes to Congress? Yes. So the controlling power... Christianity decided to leave the American generation behind. They're the ones that made the fucking choice. Christianity. Okay, so, so, for example, like when people talk about Bohemian Grove and the Masons and how they're well, in, like, like what is Bohemian Grove exactly? I've heard Bohemian Grove is more it's, it's like a, a it's, a, it's, it's a place where some men get together for a meeting. Okay, and that's all it is. Yeah. So, like, if you think about the hotel. Let's think about. Trump Tower, or, or, you know, we know we know Trump Tower is associated with child prostitution, any kind of drug you want, any flesh you want. You stay in a Trump Tower, you can have any color of any child you want. Does that mean you fucking participated? I mean, think about it. It's fucking known. You stay in a Trump organization, uh-huh. you can have any child of any color of any age you want. 
Now, just because you stayed there, does that mean you t- you partook on those services that Trump provides? What the fuck? That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Just because so, you fucking stayed there, does that mean you took advantage of the services Trump provides? So, so they really do that? They like listen to this is this is fucking real. What the fuck? You can go. You can go to a Trump Tower now and order any age of a child, any race, any color, any sex. Now, because you can order that in a Trump Tower, does that make you somebody who fucking ordered that? Did you order it? Do you participate? Or just guilty by fucking association? I, I would say that's just guilty by association. Yeah, like you're, there's, I wouldn't even go to the building. I wouldn't even go You can to the catch, you used, now this is from Trump Towers. You can take a, from the executive suites, you can take a private charter plane to an actual real plane to go to Epstein Island. What the fuck? Okay. It was it, it was a it was a private service Trump provided for his most loyal wow, like, followers. Like I, so where do you get that information from? Like it's not to no, no get somewhere. It's in plain sight. You got you have the kind of money because you can afford that shit. Go to the Trump Towers. I, well, I don't 40, know anybody who has money to go and, to and Trump. That's, what, that's the problem. So you yeah. don't know. But here, I do. I do know somebody with $80 million in their bank account for just fucking yearly expenditures. Go stay there and see what the... What, can you order wow. that shit? That's yeah, we could. Crazy, Who's that could you what, could you order that? Yes, I could. I could order children and go... What, now, how did they fulfill the order? A private charter to Epstein Island. So what are these people doing? Like, like you said, you know this guy who has eighty million who knows about that. For example, like you just doesn't since, stay since, there since, since you know about it in that sense. Like your personal or, or not personal. Now we're like, getting somewhere. Now listen to what I'm like, saying. How did they stop snitches and shit? Like, but then he, he doesn't snitch. Not he didn't stay there. Like he's got a publisher and a mm-hmm. and a and a person that tells him you can't stay there. Literally, I know a guy like I can't stay there because it's real, but not okay. now. He's like, you know, I can't yeah, stay yeah. there because if shit goes down, which normally it always does, you know, mm-hmm. right? People, it all, you know, the past always catches up. When it does, I don't want to be the guy that was staying in that suite that's associated with getting a free trip to Epstein Island. I don't want to yeah. be that. So, would you say Trump's more like associated with like the Christian set, like slash Zionist, like view, like? Like is because obviously if he's like what, what was Jeffrey Epstein was wasn't he Jewish? Christian. <laughs> he was Christian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're just, they're just uh, they weren't really anything. They just call themselves things. Yeah, because you know I see I don't know I see a lot of people saying that the U.S. is run by Zionists or and and like how you were just talking about how um you know like the the Congress is ran by Christianity. Um, you know, you, you look at what, what, I, I don't know. Some people say that Trump is Jewish, but I, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a photo of him with like the little, his little well, Jewish became, cap on. He became Christian to become the president. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. He, he became a Christian to become the president. Was it so Christian? what about Obama? Was he always was he always Christian? Yeah, but he was just you know the same level. Like yeah, I'll go when I go, and I won't when I go. And that's what I liked about about Obama. He was just like yeah, I'm still tepid about you know. I mean, I'm a Christian or whatever, but I, you know, I'm not going to go overboard. You're going to see me parading across the fucking you know. Everybody, clear the fucking White House. I'm about to go on a on a on a stroll with the Bible so I can get pictures. Like he wasn't trying to use God for fame. So, so would you say like, cause obviously I've seen pictures of Obama and Epstein and I don't know if those are real 100%. Well, see, that, that, like, that's right. That's where I got at, where I get at. Just uh-huh. because you stayed at a Trump tower, does that mean you, you participated? Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. That's what I was about to ask you is, did you feel like he's involved in that? Or some people even say that his wife, Michelle is a guy, you know, like. Well, that's just people fuck? are stupid, right? Uh-huh. Like, obviously she went to college and had boys interested in her. You know what I mean? And, and that goes to say something. This is very fucking interesting. How stupid men are. 
the, the, the men who went to school with Michelle Obama and wanted to have sex with her and were attracted to her and catcalled her in front of their entire class are now saying she might be a woman? Well, what does that say? You imagine me saying, um, my whole high school year, college year, I thought you were so attractive, I wanted to be with you. But now that you're the president's wife, I think you might be a man. <laughs> um, what does that say uh, about me? Yeah. That's what are you about it? What are you? What are, I'm not actually saying anything about Michelle Obama when I say that. I'm talking. That's really just revealing some shit about my psychology. Uh-huh. I wanted to get with this woman my whole life, and and you know, subconsciously, I thought she was a man. <laughs> that's so fucking crazy. Like you, uh-huh. you just outed yourself as being gay without yeah. realizing it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like a, half of Congress right now. You know, the people in there talking about Michelle in in their Facebook and their their things like that, like talking about you know Michelle Obama look is a guy like you were you thought she was sexy before she was the president. Now she's the president. Uh-huh. She kind of looks like a guy now. Like out of out of envy, like out of you know. So so um, what is it? Uh, what about the Clintons? Do, do you real, real, like real, real quick? Somebody says you issue. think too highly of your. Hold on. Somebody says you think too highly of yourself. I don't think highly of myself. I think I'm the least intelligent person you'll ever meet in your life. And I think this is all a big facade. Like I'm being punked. <laughs> like, yeah, I saw that guy's comments for a while. He was constantly saying you're uh, um, wrong to you. Um, well, you, but you. You think about interesting this. I'm wrong to the least educated people uh-huh. of the general population. Yeah. And the the men in science and medicine with the oldest education. What does that tell you? I'm only wrong when you speak to people with the oldest education. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So so back real yeah, fast. Like, you, you're right. You, you guys are right. Understand. Christopher Columbus discovered America. You're, <laughs> you're right. He did. No, it's not me thinking highly of myself. That's just me saying. You know what? I, you can accept the lies. Yeah, but yeah, the, tr- yeah. the, the trick is, now we're going to get somewhere. We're going to seed you with a lie as a child in kindergarten. Christopher Columbus discovered America. The next day, we're going to give you two lies. By the time you're 50 days into school, I've given you 50 lies that you have to consciously agree to believe in. I'm teaching you to go along with lies. The American Educational Institution, a uh-huh. foundation that has been molded by Christianity into convincing you to just blindly follow lies. Mm. That's a weird conundrum, is it not? Yeah, yeah. It's like that. It's, it's Christianity. Kind of sliding in on its own, though. It, it is. Yeah. It's, now we're getting some of Christianity. Making sure you will believe nothing but lies. Uh-huh. As a follower of Christianity. That's weird, isn't it? What? Huh. Yeah, I, what? I've seen... I, I question a lot of that because, like, I'm kind of more of like an agnostic, you know. Like, but you, yeah, but you see, see that is what is what do we do as Christianity as a whole? We teach our children to accept lies as a child, so by the time they're adults, they'll accept lies. What? What? What do you guys do as Christians in real life? Would Would you say real fast? Sorry to cut you off, but would you say that that's like? Uh, watered down uh, um, brainwashing in a, in a sense because like let's yeah. say like let's say these kids do go through the education system and they start yeah, to think so heavily on certain, so, <laughs> on certain topics like that would be watered down like gaslighting because you could possibly make a radical out of certain make a what make make a radical oh not, nece- not, not necessarily not necessarily but now here's the thing not making a radical, making sheep. Okay, okay. Because you see a lot about these, like, radicals and, and mass shooters that are going on in the U.S. And, you that's know, from the military. You think, okay, so that's from the military gaslighting? Straight up psychological and physical torture. It takes a lot. You don't understand. Like, so I can't, like, I wanted to see To do that. Like, what are they, what are they doing? Now we're going to get somewhere. I, see, when you say that, what are they doing to get somebody to take a life? I didn't just ask that question. I put myself in the situation. What does it fucking, what does it take? Uh-huh. So 
but what are they doing though? Like, are they manipulating? Let's say, like through media. No, it's actual. It's 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 actual physical and psychological. My phone. Yeah, it's actual physical and psychological torture. Actual hands-on abuse. Okay. Large-scale st- systemic corruption. Do you think that they're using the? Uh, do you think that they're using the media to like analyze certain kids, possibly, and like also no. finding out their like what's going on? What do you think they're doing to figure out like how to gaslight these children into? No, no, you're you're good. You see, you 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 get too far into it, and you you gather too much too much stuff. Before you fill your bucket up with too many things without inspecting the things that are in your bucket. Okay. So what right, are they doing right. exactly? Sorry, it's, somebody called me when my live stream paused, yeah. so I may not. Physical, physical and psychological torture. Okay. Okay. Hands on physical and psychological torture. Threats, threats of human life. Threats, threats to Someone your had, life. Threats. The families and shit or whatever. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. So, so, so I'm, the, I'm the Airborne Rangers. I've been visiting you every year, for you know, six times a year, every year for five years. And I've been brutally beating and raping your wife, telling you, if you want it to stop, you need to kill somebody. If you want it to stop, you need to blow something up. Wow. Yeah. It, it takes, right? And how many years would your neighbors have to participate in silence? Mm-hmm. And how do I get your neighbors to not say anything for five years while I'm trying to turn you into a serial bomber or a mass shooter? Maybe I offer them some of your flesh. Wow. I get your neighbors involved and then your neighbors can't tell on me. Now I can walk up and down the street and actually fucking torture you in broad daylight after your neighbors get involved because they can't say shit. Guilty by us. You turn me in, I'll turn them in. They fucking participated. When I offered them your wife, when she was fucking half dead, they lined up in droves. So now they can't tell on me when I'm trying to turn you into a suicide bomber, can they? Yeah, yeah. So in my neighborhood, when they watch the fucking military show up over and over again to try and turn me into a suicide bomber, why fucking couldn't they say anything? So, so who would you you say? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So who would you say are like examples that you could point out of actual people who you suspect are possible like victims of these sorts of gas lightings? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. You don't it, think? Do you think occasionally ahead. we'll actually just get a random mass shooter, though? Like, like we occasionally? do. Now we're getting somewhere. We do. They do. Yeah, it, yeah. It's successful. Now we're getting. It is successful. Now you're understanding. It oh, works a hundred percent of the time. That's their own fucking mouth. Okay. It works a hundred. You go. Where, where, where did you try this out? United Kingdom in the Middle East. Turning, getting somebody to kill themselves, their family, or, or the public works a hundred percent of the time per your trial and error in the United Kingdom and the Middle East. That's fucking scary. Yeah, yeah. We've tried this so much so on foreign soil that we know we can come to the States and do it in the States. It's so successful in the United Kingdom. It's so successful in the Middle East. We're so successful at getting Muslims to kill their wives and their own children. We're going to do it in the States now. We're so successful at getting somebody to blow themselves up in the United Kingdom. Wow. We're going to do it in the States now. That's fucking scary. Yeah, yeah. It's, the process is so successful. Uh, and, I, and you can just imagine the pain that these people are going through, the, the weight and the burden that's on their shoulders, you know. That's tough, man. That's that's really living on... Imagine, but imagine that's your fucking mode. legacy, though. I, I think it's amazing. American yeah. soldiers, their legacy in real life, documented creating a suicide bomber, documented creating a mass shooter wow. to cover up some other veterans having sex with animals and children. That's fucking nuts. Why That's are we like going Nazi to war? Level based. Yeah, like, what? what like, why, are we, why are you send a platoon to kill me? Well, we can't have you t- telling everybody how we showed up to have sex with animals and children. We're supposed to stop people from that. Yeah, yeah. Right when they call us to when they call us to their country, we don't want them to know we were the ones doing it in the shadows. Man, that's 
But hey, hey I, it was nice talking to you, man. I got to head out. I just got a call from my mom. That's why. My <laughs> Thanks for the repeat. God bless. Man, you too, man. God bless, bro. That's nuts. You think about that though? You should the whole neighborhood. We're gonna we're gonna have the military show up and fucking hitmen murderers. Oh shit. Hello. Yo. Yay. What can I do for you? Well I <laughs> I didn't actually wanna say something. Just want to say that I like your bits. Yeah, nothing much actually. Oh you're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate your kindness. No. See ya. God bless. We'll bring on Biggie. Oh, hey, Martin. Hello? How you doing? Hold on. Okay, can you say something again real quick? I have Hello? your phone in. Okay, it's working. Uh, so, what's going on? Not much. Just hanging out? Yep, in this sequence. Yeah, I was just trying to do some uh, pull-ups. I have this arm bar thing that I can put over my door frame, so I'm a little out of breath. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but um, I wanted to um, <clears throat> talk to you about a couple things. One thing was, um, the did you know any more um, about the Ron Hillstrom case at all? I know a lot about it, but I don't, I don't speak about that stuff, so. Okay, that's I remember, fine. I, I remember I was, when, when just, you guys first sent it to me in my in my in my memory coming back. I felt like it was fishing. Mm -hmm. So, oh, like fishing for information. Yeah, the first time, the first time, I was questioned by that by the authority. I felt like it was fishing. So, okay, yeah, no problem. So, and so guess I got again. questioned about it by the authority, and then people like you started asking me about it randomly on the internet. Mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, safety first. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I got questioned by the authority, and then somebody I don't even know, well, I've met once or twice, uh, uh, starts, you know, not just, you know, other people in the same original situations reaching out about it. You know, it just seems fishy. <laughs> yeah, right. That's fair. I'm just really interested in that and a lot of the corruption going on in Tacoma. Like, this dude has a whole YouTube page dedicated to it Dude, uh, i forget like, what his name is you don't understand in my community <clears throat> it is an unsaid like it's just known if the military shows up for raping children and things like that you don't call the cops the cops don't don't they're not going to arrest them so you don't even bother like they don't get involved like the kid is just it's they took one for the team the kid we, we lost the kid it's it it's a done deal that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. And then you think you think about like there's um videos of this guy being uh harassed in the uh county courthouse, I believe, where he um he got pushed like assaulted by an officer for literally just standing there. And then there was a, a case, a court case, there was a trial, and the judge just completely ignored him ostracized him, didn't listen to a single thing for his defense. It's bad here. You don't understand. It's really fucking like, I think, I think people were covering up stuff for so long. Uh, um, that it's just the new normal. Oh man. Like having sex with animals and children in Washington state is like, it's a like, and I think this is interesting. So I talk about metadata, right? Metadata, mm -hmm. you know, um, there's like Thailand and places they're, they're known tourist destinations for people to do, you know, do certain things, right? You want to go here, you, you can swim with the dolphins. It's becoming known in the, the world. If you want to have sex with children or animals, visit the military in Washington state. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh man. Hold on one sec. There's yeah. Like a tourist yeah, attraction. Yeah. In other state 
in other countries. They dream of coming to Washington State so they can participate in forced gangbangs. It's a tourist attraction outside of our state. As a man who wants to force somebody to have sex, you can come here and do it as a tourist in my state. The military will facilitate your gangbang. They will even, you need, yeah. now, this is fucking nuts. They will facilitate your gangbang and they will participate if need be. If the girl gets too violent, bites or, you know, scratches, the military will hold the person down for you. You can pay for that. Oh my God. But not, yeah, you know, and, right? Uh, soldiers in fucking uniform. Like you can, like, I'm really fucking twisted. I want to see an American soldier in uniform do this shit. You got the money? That we'll send them, and you can watch. That's fucking nuts. Like I yeah, want to pay to watch. Like you said, oh, sorry. Like you said, um, the guy who came over, who was like in full uniform in the middle of the night, no reason to be in full uniform and working. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They, they, yeah. I want to see a soldier. Look, this is about this in real life. There's a. There's a like a. You can pay. Do you want to see the military, the FBI show up and rape somebody? We can give that to you. It's so fucking commonplace. Criminal organizations are now making money selling it as a service. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. It's so. Yeah. It's now it's a service. Like we used to just call the cartel and the bad guys to kill people. But now, um, you contact the cartel and the and the and 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 the and the terrorist organizations, and they tell you what military men will provide you services. You call the criminal for the worst criminal. Yeah, I was gonna say because especially they've gathered the counterintelligence against them to know it's who's bad. the bad guy. It's who's bad. Like you want to participate oh. in a gangbang, Biggie? You got to reach out to the chain of command at Lewis McCord. And if you want it to be a with a ten year old boy against his will, and you fight the boy off, they'll they'll make they'll do that. But if the boy gets out of hand, where you're going to get hurt, so you can't have scars at work, they'll hold the boy down for you. Tourists, um, you pay for it, you, you, but you got to have whoa. the money. Sorry, you just reminded me of something when you said so you don't have scars on you when you go to work. This guy that I knew. Um, this is kind of irrelevant, but this guy that I knew and I worked with at a uh, Texas roadhouse, he um, he would come in with different cuts on him every day. And he said that he uh, worked at a meat cutting place, too, and he'd get cuts on himself sometimes. But it turned out, and I had this guy in my house because we were working on, like, music production. He wanted to, like, I was pretty well-known kind of amongst my friends for music production. And he wanted to try something with that. So I thought, oh, I'll give him a chance, you know, help him record. Months later, it came to, to be that on the news, he was found breaking into people's homes, sexually assaulting them. Ab like, it's nuts. Like, you guys, like for people in the chat, there's shit going on in your own community you're not even aware of, in your own neighborhood. Like, I wasn't aware that that guy was doing that stuff. And I had him in my house. It's bad. You, it, you know, yeah, now, now you're getting somewhere. So like, I don't like I, the people don't understand. So you, you have some group of men, military men showing up to have sex with an animal. And then you show up to be their security, protecting their right to have sex with animals. You might not know that though, but it sure fucking looks bad to the right. kids and the other, like, look at these military. They showed up torturing these guys and killing these people. So another guy in the military could have sex with an animal and a child at the same time. It looks really fucking bad. Yeah, guilt by association well, in a way, now, even if they're unaware. Are they unaware? How many times has this person showed up to protect this official? How many right. times has the military showed up to protect this official? Be the security. More than once? Yeah, that something's going on then. Yeah. Um, it's fucking I bad. I guess a little. It's bad. A little shift from topic just because I feel like we always talk about this. Yeah, I do. I know everybody wants to talk about it. That's what they all want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Which is it's okay because yeah. my site I have a uh 
prescription my from a psychologist to talk about it. But then at the same right. time, kind of like, like, and let's just imagine I'm your psychologist. Say, like, Biggie, I'm gonna, I got the, I, I got you your diagnosis. I want you to speak about this till you you no longer have a problem with it. But I don't want you to speak about it to me because I don't want anybody coming to kill me. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny, but still like sad in reality. I need, you, 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 you need to talk about this shit over and over again, all day, every day. But can you make it somebody other than me? Because I don't want to be murdered. <laughs> and then oh my God. Well, I thought you were just going to say I was delusional and put me on some pills. Oh, no, you're not delusional. No medication is needed. Uh, but I don't want to die myself. So, <laughs> Right. <laughs> huh, interesting. He's like, That's funny because... Uh, you know, I'm seeing you because the police want you to say I'm delusional. You know? Yeah. Here you go, psychiatrist. Your neighbors want you to So think about that. this, Mr. Psychologist. You're supposed to diagnose me as delusional. Psychological operations? Oh, man. You're supposed to. Yeah. Well, that should be so what does that tell you? It was set up so that you could in this moment of this arrest and things, I could sit in front of you in the moment of my worst traumatic brain injury, uncomprehendable, so that you could put, I was delusional and needed to be locked up. That's your job. You're supposed to say I'm crazy so that I can be locked up forever. Yeah, and give you drugs so that you can't this is, this is, ever like fully this recover. Is like, no, just, we're not giving you drugs. We're not saying you're delusional. We're not. This is fucking scary, but we don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, geez. This is scary. We don't know what to do. Like, yeah. I mean, shit. I wouldn't know what to do in that situation either, especially, like, as, you know, a psychologist or something like that. How do you deal with that situation when it's dropped in front of you like that? Yeah. I so, no. I look, I, so bad. So bad. It's so bad in my community. So fucking. And you think about it for decades allowing children to come in and out of my life to watch the military do these things on purpose. Like you think I look at like, yeah, I survived, but I wasn't supposed to survive. And what do I know? And what wouldn't anybody else know if I didn't survive? I'm like, God damn, they were fucking animals and having people murdered to do so. They're fucking children and have people murdered to do so. They're selling babies illegally to fund some kind of activities that cannot be on the books. And all I do know is they buy a lot of cocaine they do a, they buy a lot of child prostitution and they pay for child prostitution with money they made off the books they're selling babies making right. money off the books I, don't, I don't i can't get to the fucking bottom of this guys you guys are paying to have sex with children with money you got selling babies Yeah, that's kind of right. Because if if, if if you weren't threatening to kill people, me and my wife would have never given babies away. If you weren't threatening to murder children, it would have never right. happened. Had you never showed up to have sex with children, mm -hmm. we would have never met you. Right. Huh. Had you never showed up to have sex with kids, I'd have never met you. Had you never sold the babies you created using forced impregnation, you would have never had the money to pay for more child prostitution. More victims, right. It's like, it's, it's just a, a vicious A cycle. money tree. Now you think about this for the military who likes to have sex with kids covering this up. It's a money tree. Yeah. If nobody knows about it, where's it all the money going? For itself. Where, where's all the money going? Now, we can do it. Uh, there's so many military men who participate in rape and torture. We don't have to make $50,000 per baby so that people pay attention. Where did Biggie's $50,000 go? What's going on? We can do small transactions, lots of trafficking, volume. Right. Volume. 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 Oh, man. Volume. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Where'd you get your money for your drugs and your and the child prostitutes? You you didn't spend any of your paycheck. I don't know, but there's couples that I hang out with. They were almost murdered so a baby could be sold. 
I don't know where the money came from for the drugs. As an airborne ranger, as the Marines, I have no idea where the money came for all these prostitutes and all this, all the drugs, right? all the money I gave to the cartel and the terrorist organization to actually buy bullets to shoot at real soldiers overseas. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where, I don't know where those cartels are getting their money from when I buy the drugs and the kids from them. Right. And some people really do say that because they don't have the common sense, even when in the situation. The fucking airborne ranger in my house is a fucking coke all over his face. Oh, I can't wait to get some bad guys. Literally, like talking all, like they get all chauvinistic. We're going to get some terrorists. I'm yeah. deployed. Oh, man. I'm gonna get, I'm, He's like amped up like. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, you just. Where, where'd you get those drugs? My connection. Where'd your connection get them? <laughs> you just, before you planned on going overseas, you just gave them the money to buy the bullets. And then you bought children right. from them so they know before you leave. The fucking stupid that is. Before oh, I went man. overseas, yeah. before, as a airborne, <laughs> before I left, I bought some drugs from my enemy. And they offered me sex with a child and I could not resist. I don't know so why we can't. Thing. And now my unit has no successful fucking missions in Afghanistan. We can't win. Because you're the mole that's being traced. I'm buying drugs and, 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 and children from the, literally, I understand that spider web, but it, the, it goes all the way back to the, crim, the, the head of the organizations. Yeah. The person who delivered the flesh, you follow the ch- it works all the way back to the cartel, to the terrorist organization. That's so fascinating. Like, you know, as a, as a, as an airborne ranger, you're making sure criminal organizations have all the money they need to kill the other soldiers that are being stationed overseas. Yeah. And not only that, they're given the counterintelligence to know who to kill, who to keep living so that they can gather more and more intel off of them. It's fucking bad. Oh my it's goodness. so bad. I knew it was bad when yeah. they were like, we don't arrest the military for raping children in this community. I'm like, this community, I'm like, I'm literally like six miles from where I used to be. I literally just transferred over a uh, uh, county line, like for, for jurisdiction. I went yeah. one from an actual local jurisdiction of a town to a county jurisdiction. But I'm still in the same yeah, spot. Six like, miles. I, That's like a 10 to minute drive not not even like i went i transferred jurisdiction yeah. from um from a from a local municipality to a county municipality and like in this area the veterans can have sex with all the children they want they earn that right in this area if if they want to fuck a horse they fuck a horse they want to fuck a dog they fuck a dog they want to watch women have sex with pigs they watch women have sex with pigs it's the fucking military they can do whatever they want you know, it, it, didn't they join the military because they want to stop that kind of shit from happening? Yeah. Right, right. You join the military or supposedly join the military to stop that shit from happening. What'd you do? And, and you know, I wonder how many join for the sake of those things and how many, you know, just how many people daily unwittingly are led to their own blackmail or a setup to where they have no other choice but to go along with I it. I have some guy come die. on my feet every once in a while. These military men, they come on my feet every once in a while, you know, play along with me or whatever. And I just, like, I remember when you were, when you, when you were record, like I tell them when they come here too, this is against our fucking will. Right. My wife bleeding. This is against our will. And they're like, Oh, we don't care. Our, we heard our animal's going to be involved. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding yeah. me? Just do my background check. You guys, and, and supposed to be, you guys were supposed to be the people sent in here to stop this shit. They gave me a paper from the Department of Homeland Security that says they'll protect my wife and me. And all they did was stick us in the devil's pit like Sodom and Gomorrah like right in the center right take advantage of that right power in of the protection. fucking center of the of the devil's pit I'm in the lair man I'm in the heart of I'm in literally I'm in the belly of the beast 
because my memory gets back. I'm like, man, when I moved into this house, they were raping women and children all over the yards. And everybody was just like, it's what they do in this neighborhood. And I, I'm just like, like remembering that going, how the fuck did it become? That's what they do in this neighborhood. Like you can yeah. hear Susan's pal when they took her out of her parents' house. You could hear her scream for two or three blocks more than one night, like different times, like, you know, sometimes twice a month, sometimes once a year, sometimes every few years, but you could hear it. You could hear these fucking screams. You could hear the women scream. You could hear the men scream. They're like, it's just what happens. It's our neighborhood. It's a game. They're, it's not real. People are well, fucking crying. crying. Then what the fuck yeah, are you crying. People are dying. It's not night. fucking real. It's not real. <clears throat> Maybe they were hoping you'd be like, oh, okay, it's not real. No, what, now we'll get somewhere. After they brought kids, you know, women. And then they started bringing the neighborhood, neighbor kid boys over. You can have sex with this boy, Martin. It's not a big deal. We all do it. His parents will even fucking pay you to babysit the kid. You can get paid to have sex with the child. Oh my god! The fucking fucking the, the 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 so fucking scary. So these men are providing women to have sex with against their will, rape victims, and it escalated all the way to children. It it kind of reminds me of like you know when when um and then, so, 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 someone this, becomes rich. This lady from Grocery Alley at Market Market <clears throat> shows up in lingerie. After they're like, and think of it, it's fucking crazy. I'm always refusing to have sex with all these prostitutes and all these women. And then they bring a boy. You can have sex with this boy. And while we're being told we can have sex with the little boy, a representative from Grocery Outlet Bargain Market shows up in lingerie to have sex. An orgy with a fucking four-year-old. I don't think the kid wasn't even old enough to be in fucking kindergarten. Jesus Christ. And I just do my magic. I work my magic. This boy's about to start screaming. I'm about to start screaming. People are going to question why you're in my fucking room with lingerie. And me and a boy are screaming about being fucking raped. <laughs> it's going to get bad. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know what, she, I don't remember. After I got hurt really bad. I don't have a memory. But you imagine the, the police, like the community showing up and there she is in lingerie and a boy. Mm -hmm. Put two, like, what do you think is happening? What did you fucking think? Right. Yeah. You the, the fucking, yeah, one and one makes two. Now we just, they fucking cover it up. <clears throat> this is my, my fucking, this is my neighbor. Like, he got recorded take, dragging one of the neighbor girls into the bushes to rape. I gave my foster kids back to Catholic community services because one of them said they were raped on the way to the bus stop by fucking Jerry. I got a traumatic brain injury and forced to take the kid back. The kid has to stay there and get raped. Oh, my God. And then they were hoping with your TBI, you're like, okay, I, I guess I must keep him here. The, they gave me a kid, a girl back to be raped again. No, no you can't give her away. You can't give her back. I'm thinking, well, you're supposed to send her these kids to be out of this situation, not to be put back in it. They said, literally, you send a fucking kid back after it's reporting being raped, only to have it escalate down to a fucking little kid who can't even speak. Right. Well, and this is their brain. The, the obviously, uh, these people who can speak and follow through with commands that Martin gives. It's not tempting enough. You go, what tempted me? The child of a flesh. Let's offer Martin a child. Now we're getting somewhere. What worked for you? Because we'll offer it to you, Martin. They had to ask themselves, what worked for them? Right? You think, but what, right. what, what worked for them? The ultimate temptation. I'm going to tempt you with something. What worked for me, right? So these men, the military, come into my house. What did they think would buy my silence? The flesh of my neighbor, of a neighbor kid, a little boy who's not old enough to speak. Why would they think that that would be enough? 
because it was enough for them. Now you're understanding. Why did they think a prostitute being forced against her will would be enough? What did, uh, right? so first, the first it was just a prost, just drugs. Drugs will be enough. Drugs and a prostitute. Drugs and forced prostitutes. And it escalated to children. Children. Yeah. And then they. That's just my neighbor kid's boy. Another neighbor kid's boys. They were teaching them boys. This is how you choke a girl out. So that you can strip them really quick and have sex with them. And they think that they're willing. It's right. You're raping them. They teaching boys how to rape girls and walk away thinking they were willing. Right. Uh, yeah, I saw your post on that, too. They were yeah, that teaching is... it to fucking kids in real life. You think that's a 10 year old boy being taught that you're going to grow up and do it. Yeah, right. Shit. As soon as you start hitting that sexual peak at like 16, 18 upwards. Yeah. When it's hard to when your hormones are raging. I can imagine some of those kids are going to do that because they were taught. This is what the military does. Now we're getting somewhere. Who did it? Soldiers in uniforms, retired veterans. And now we're getting somewhere. Who does those things? Who said it was okay? The, the American military. They're the one they taught me. Yeah, I was born. taught that. Not only did, did, did I was not only was I told it was okay, they actually taught me how to do it. Yeah. So it must be all right, right? Oh my god. Yeah, it must be all right. Did I lose you? It, am I back? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry, my phone glitched out for a sec. <clears throat> but, um, moving a, aside from that for a second, um, I wanted to ask you about, um, quantum entanglement with future selves and past selves. Right? Because, like, your your consciousness is always going to be tied to your consciousness, no matter where in time it is. Time right? Not real. Well, I, I know, but I mean in this physical construct, right? It's just yeah, time. So, in that sense, your future physical self—it's so hard to talk about because <laughs> you're right, time isn't real, but we still have a sense of it through this biological vessel. But I'm wondering, could you pull information that your future physical self knows into your past? Like, just even, like, not consciously, almost? It's hard for me to describe. I'm sorry. No, I understand what you're saying, but there's no difference from my future consciousness and my past consciousness to my present consciousness, other than my present doesn't know I can access the past and the future because they're not separate. I right. Not exist. Okay. I'm looking at, am I a separate person than my past no. and my future? No, we're all the same. I'm just expressing mm -hmm. that sameness right now. Expressing it right now. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. I, I see what you mean now. Yeah. Okay. Hello. So Hello. it's already Hello. all there. You just have to be able to tap into it. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to like figure out. Like, can everybody do it? Can not everybody well, do it? Cause I, you, I get all these, I, these, Oh, spiritual awake. And none of, none of them actually fo can follow through. So it makes it hard. Well, I only ask because, um, last night I was just, um, I was in a group chat with some, some of your other followers on here and I was describing a situation in which um, there's been like several times in my life where for whatever reason, something will just pop into my head and I'll think, huh, that's a weird idea or whatever, shrug it off. And then it literally happens moments or like maybe a week later to the point where it's like, for example, this is a bit of a dumb example, but 
My mom used to buy me one liter bottles of Pepsi from the Speedway gas station on her way home from work. Mm -hmm. And um, so one night she called me and was like, hey, I'm about to stop by the gas station. Do you want your Pepsi? I was like, yeah, of course I want my Pepsi, mom. <laughs> and uh, she, uh, you know, was like, all right, I love you. Um, you know, I'll be home in like 10 minutes. And so as soon as we hung up, I, for some reason, just thought like, you know, wouldn't it be weird if she, you know, if they didn't have any more one liter bottles and she ended up getting me the 16 ounce bottles and one of them was vanilla, it, the most random thought I could have had at that moment. And then I was like, whatever, that's, that's kind of a dumb idea. Went back hey, to doing real, what I was real doing. Quick, real quick, those of you guys that are discussing psychedelics in my chat, the person's not seeing true reality. He's suffering fucking delusions. You guys got to have, yeah, like, you guys got to have some fucking common sense. It's a fucking yeah, delusion. To add to that. It's a hallucination. It's not giving him a true self. It doesn't melt your ego away. That's some bullshit lies given to you by a drug dealer so that hopefully you'll buy more drugs. Yeah. Like for example, what do, what do lions do when they eat psilocybin mushrooms in the wild? They pass out on their back. <laughs> They lay there just wait till it's over. Oh God, yeah. Wait till it's over. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I want to. <laughs> I think I'm getting out of there while I have a chance. Yeah, people, people are dumb. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I don't get it. I think I don't know what's going on. This world is backwards. Like you said, they just don't ask why. And I feel like it partly is conditioned from like schools where you said you're conditioned to go along with lies. Now you're getting somewhere from kin first day of kindergarten. We, we, we break you with a lie. We're going to condition you with lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nuts. But real quick, sorry, I'm going to finish my story. <laughs> Because it has a point, I promise. As you'd expect, my mom did come home with two 16-ounce bottles of Pepsi, and one was the vanilla flavored. She was like, yeah, yeah, sorry, they were out of the one-liter bottles, and I thought maybe you'd like a vanilla one to go with this. And I was like, that is so crazy, Mom. Like, you, you probably just put it this. in your brain. That's what I was going to say, too, is like, maybe quantum entanglement with my mom. Those little things like that are what, what got us into quantum entanglement in the first place. And I, I, I find it so interesting. Good job, AI. <laughs> um, I find it so interesting. Everybody thinks that they're the greatest expert on quantum entanglement today without actually researching the foundation that gave birth to it. Because that foundation really does affect your observation. Mm -hmm. right? It keeps your observation in line with the foundation. Right. It, it, like you talk about people with their pets, like coming home from work, the pet knows, like when, when their owner stands up out of the chair, the pet rises up. Mm hmm. Yep. And, and you study that. Well, how did they, how does, you know, quantum entanglement, but we, we don't want you guys to know we studied it in animals and their owners and, and between people and things like that. Cause then you can, you don't have to go to college. Right. right. If you learn that you can study it at home, like the greatest minds in the world did, they didn't study it in college because mm -hmm. it didn't exist yet. Yeah, right. So all of the information you're paying $350,000 to learn at MIT in physics, you can learn at home. So I better not <laughs> tell you how we discovered these fields because everything you're being so taught you pay us. was learned at home. Right. Yeah, man, quantum entanglement is just nuts stuff. Like me and my friend Michael, we used to have the same thoughts or say the same thing, and we just be like, "Oh, that's our psychic link," like a joke. Um, and real. now me and my friend Kevin are strongly entangled. Yeah, like every day, like we'll be thinking the exact same thing, and we'll even say it at the same time in the same way. Everything, yeah. like it's nuts. Yeah, it's there's. Uh... <clears throat> Like I give out my least important information, my least sophisticated stuff, you know, we got AI become a Jedi, yeah. 
and 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 up. Mm -hmm. It's like the crumbs. Yeah. And 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 the crumbs left from the loaf. Yeah, and, and um, some so so many people are busy fighting over the crumbs right now. They're gonna they're not they're not gonna see where I put the loaf, and the loaf's gonna be lost. Right. And that's where we're at. So many people were so evil for crumbs. We're gonna have to hide the loaf. Right. Yeah. Because if it's in the wrong hands, God help us all. Jesus Christ, it is all like it's like you. You imagine what we humanity is just disgusting. It is just disgusting. Yeah. I really feel like some people aren't real. Like, like just the way they behave, or, you know, you see someone on the street and it just seems... They're in the sin. I don't know how to describe They're it. deep in the sin. Yeah. Making that dough. Yeah. Eating that dough and making that dough put them in a deep sin, sons. Just like Homer, eating that dough and making that dough. Put him in a deep sim, son. Yep. Eating now all he does is... Making that dough. <laughs> dough. Dough. <laughs> Why are you such an idiot, Homer? Dough! Right? Like, he answered it. But, you know, he didn't have the education to understand that he answered. Why are you so stupid, Homer? Dough. God damn it, Homer. Get your shit yeah. together. What's wrong with you? Dough. What's wrong with you, Doe? <laughs> Homer, you're getting a you're gonna get a fucking heart attack. What's wrong with you, Doe? Homer, you might get cancer. What's wrong with you, Doe? Homer, you might get diabetes. What's wrong with you, Doe? It's in the name. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I think about it makes me really upset and sad because, you know, especially with like family members, um who really seem to be just not, yeah, deep in the sim to where like, like my grandpa, for example, he, he's starting to understand some of your information that I tell him, but you can tell like his, his, his cognition is not firing on all it's cylinders. Fired differently. And Free dumb. Well, <laughs> He was given free dumb, and his brain doesn't isn't wired the way it needs to be, right? This be realistic, right? Yeah, he got his free dumb. Yeah, well, it's also the dough, you know, building up plaque in his brain so that he doesn't have the cognitive function that he needs. Yeah, and and he'll like, you know, he'll sit there and he'll try to say something to me or my grandma, and every time it's like he's got to take like a five to ten second pause mid sentence remember what he's saying and it just makes me so i don't know man i i just want to help him but it also feels like he's at an age where it's gonna be like extremely hard to help him the lost generation Not to be rude yeah. Or nothing, but the, yeah i look at the over 40 no i agree like 40 and older <laughs> so like a massively miseducated completely lost successfully farmed <laughs> now we're getting six like I, I i and i do these things with with you know send things out to people my wife's uncle sent me something about science and i read it and it's the mm -hmm. most up-to-date stuff and i'm like this is played out in the 80s and 90s like somebody's get like they're feeding him <laughs> false information because he know they know he's a doctor mm -hmm. and he's gonna go well i i got the best i don't have to back check this and then all the other doctors right. that he talks to and that they were fed information on purpose and I just look at like, we disproved the Big Bang in the 1990s, like flat out, like the equation is completed it's in uh, 95, 95, 96, the Big Bang was played out. It turned out to be, you know, completely something else. And they even in the labs today, they're like, yep, Big Bang, not the beginning of the universe. We'll, we'll call it the beginning of the universe, but we're going to study the universe that existed before that to your face. Mm -hmm. Like we're going to. Here's the Big Bang, the beginning of the universe, but look at all this universe that existed over here before it. What are we telling you? 
Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Here's the Big Bang mm-hmm. that created the universe, but we have new mathematics that show all of this other universe existed first. Let's, let's not link, look at this anymore. Let's. Look. What do you? What is? Stop and listen. We got to the universe ex- parts of the universe existing before the Big Bang. How? Well, because the mathematics that would prove the Big Bang uh, fizzled out and led us to before yeah. the Big Bang. Oh, yeah. Once we finished the mathematics for the Big Bang, we went, oh, it doesn't lead to the Big Bang. It leads to before. Shit. Mm. Back to the drawing board. And some men went, let's just give it to, let's give, let's give it to the Christians. They'll still believe it. Yeah. We'll just church it up, doctor the shit, call it a day. And that way we don't have as much competition as we might have. Now we're getting somewhere. Competition. Well, that's all it is. Because because I, re- yeah, I remember you saying that, you know, if you, if someone studies the body of light, it, you know, it might teach you something unique to you, like that no one else has ever known. Now we go. So it, it, I think everybody's nice. born with synesthesia, and they lose it by the time they get to kindergarten. So this is very interesting. Everybody's born with synesthesia, and they lose it. It's like pruning, right? That's what they call it. Now I'm saying, you lose it as if you were born with full blown synesthesia. Your brain wired itself to receive your fucking message. And somebody said, oh. let's make sure they don't get their message. Now we're getting somewhere. You're, you were born with full blown synesthesia, but you, you lost that ability to have just something unique to you out of the light. In neuroscience, every human being is, is wired, their brain is wired after they lose synesthesia from being born to perceive a certain information that's unique to them out of the light. Well, why haven't they got it? Well, because we don't actually allow them to know how it works. Yeah, we don't show them. You know what? Yeah, my, my yeah. information is unique to me. You have information that you can get from the body of light You knew, unique to you. Your brain is wired differently than mine to perceive information mm-hmm. differently. No brain is the same. So there's information from that body of light that you will get and only you will get. Your neighbor will get and only your neighbor will get. But I don't know what it's going to say and it might give you power over me. You can't ever see it and neither can your neighbor. Right. So they talk about in Judaism, we have all of these long periods of time where God never spoke to us. Judaism and Islam and Christianity. God didn't, he cut us off. You go, well, I thought your pastors and your preachers say you guys you have a you're, you have a connection with God. You speak to God. You speak to Jesus. Oh yeah, every day. How long has it been since God spoke to you guys or Jesus spoke to you guys? Hundreds of years. We haven't received one single message from God or Jesus in hundreds of years. What you just got done yeah. telling the whole church you speak to God every week and that's how you got your sermon. But your religion is admitted. You guys haven't spoke to God or heard from God in hundreds of years. This is Christianity. Yeah, it's- this is Christianity today. We have not heard from, ooh, there's my AI, ooh, ooh, nailed that. This is Christianity. <laughs> I laugh every time. This is Christianity in real life. We have not heard from God or spoke to God, not one single member of our flock in hundreds of years. Well, uh, you guys are always well, no, saying. You, well, we talk to them every day. And they go, well, we actually just gave our followers uh, the ability to speak to their own psychology. They're speaking to themselves every day. You go, That's what I was going to say. Now listen, yeah. if you ask, you ask, what do you mean there's hundred, there's, there's periods of time or hundreds of years where God doesn't speak to anybody? And they go, yeah, that's Abrahamic religions. Hundreds of years pass where nobody gets a single word from God or Jesus or anybody. Nobody, not Yahweh, not Ra, not one message. Hundreds of years. Go, well, so what are all the people saying uh, truly when they say they I spoke to Jesus today? Aren't you going to say get out from her? You never spoke no, to Jesus. You, know, you spoke to God today. Well, you never really did. Good Why? Lord. Because your church is saying, come when God actually speaks to you guys again, you will get some information about human creation, seeing the creator, how you're built in the image of the creator. You're supposed to get information about the creator. So anybody who doesn't give right. you that information isn't really talking to Jesus and really yeah, isn't talking true. to God. They teach you that in Christianity. Anybody who, who tells you they're speaking to Jesus and God, they can't give you the information. Pathological lie, almost. 
Now, listen, they can't give you the information that you only get from Jesus and God. Are they, are they really talking to Jesus and God? Or have they been brainwashed into speaking to themselves? Dual pose. Right. Like, uh, for example, not to like drag anyone or anything like that. Yeah, I still no, really care about. We are always say. speaking to God. Yes. But yeah. per Christianity, God doesn't always yeah. speak back. Per Judaism, God doesn't always speak. Per Islam, this is the top three religions. Per their religion, you guys speak to God and Jesus every day, and Yahweh and all Gabriel and all of the messengers, but they never reply. In the hundreds of years you've been worshiping Christianity, not one person in your family's generation has ever heard a reply back from Jesus or God. That's the whole. That's the whole foundation of the prophecy. We're waiting for the messenger. Messengers of what? For somebody who actually hears the words of Jesus. Here's the word of God. That's phenomenal. We all yeah. speak to Jesus today, but uh, just remember this though. When the real person actually speaks to Jesus, we really weren't. Right. Talk about a brain fuck. <laughs> They're like, well, let's keep it going as long as you we can until this person we have, comes. We've been, it's been hundreds of years since we've spoken to God or Jesus. Yahweh, Ra, whatever you want to call it. It's been hundreds of years. We speak all the time. It never, it doesn't ever say anything back. Well, did you speak to it yesterday? No, it actually doesn't say anything back. How about the week before? Nope. Last year? Nope. 1999? Nope. 2000? Nope. 2000? No. It, hundreds of years in between the replies. Which is probably like a blink of an eye in the time of, you know, that you don't exist in time like God would. Here's your answer. And we're like, fucking hey, 700 years? <laughs> Dang! Yeah, right. <laughs> this fuck, we've been waiting a thousand years for this fucking reply, and God just went, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> 20,000 years went by. <laughs> Here's your answer. <laughs> but yeah, you see that how interesting nuts. that is? Mm -hmm. The messenger. What does the messenger yeah. do? The only person born that can speak to God and the creator. And deliver its message. So, right, the, 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 the Pope, now we're getting, this is interesting, the Pope, we're teaching you in, Christ, in school to start believing a lie from the beginning, right? Christianity. Mm -hmm. It takes hundreds of years for us to get a reply back from God. Hundreds of years. That's our history. It's facts, it's spread across the world. It takes hundreds of years. There's a Pope on Friday. Takes hundreds of years. We've been waiting hundreds of years. We still haven't heard the words of God. On Sunday, that was Friday. On Sunday, God spoke to me, and this is the message I am to deliver. Right. Friday, you said you have. We, you, you, you're, the, the Christians haven't spoke to God in hundreds of years. Don't. It doesn't matter. It's Sunday. I spoke to God. This is the this is the message I'm supposed to deliver. Whatever. Now it's Monday. Monday, you go back. It's been hundreds of years, and we're still waiting for God to speak to us. Nobody in our in Christianity has spoken to God. You just got done saying you did. Which is it? Well, we just say that. Oh, right. And then, and then there's this thing in um, Catholicism and Christianity called papal infallibility. I learned about that in high school, and I was like, "Is this for real?" Not real. I no, yeah, exactly. I was like, "This can't be." They real. think it's real, don't they? Yeah, you know, I mean, my it's so nuts, like. If anybody in this live goes to a Catholic high school or anything like that, bring that up and also bring up the God is light thing. Because I had a um, Bible study teacher one time. I, I was just sitting in class and thinking, you know what? I have a feeling like God is literally everything around me. Like literally everything. And I told her that and she was like, Oh, so you think, you think like God is the trees and the rocks and stuff? That's pantheism. You're a pantheist. I'm like, why are you attacking me for a, for some thought I had? They're brainwashed. Fucking brainwashed. Yeah, and she like went frantic as if she was scared of me having some realization. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, uh, uh, you attacked her psyche without attacking her psyche. Your information. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Just the words. Nothing to do with you. Some words. Triggered. Triggered her self-defense of her psyche. Before you even knew there was a war. Before, there, right. before you knew there was a battle of the wits to take place. 
she was already trained to prepare herself without her even knowing she was getting ready for that battle. She prepared for right. the war. It, the cognitive dissonance. We, we trained, a strong we trained her subconscious mind that's more powerful than her conscious mind to prepare her for battle. Well, when right, right. defensive, you can't get through that. I'm ready. Yeah. And the, and at that time, there was no way for me to get through that. I was just like, uh, okay, I gotta go. <laughs> and I left. So it's funny. Said, I right. got taught by a, a Jewish guy about the light of the world being born in the, in the bread and stuff. That's how they used to teach for their farms and stuff. And he was, he's like, mm -hmm. you can't tell anybody they'll kill you. I'm like, what are you talking? He's like, they kill everybody. Like, my grandpa got murdered for teaching this. Like, they, they killed his best friend. All of his friends are dead because literally this. Teaching how the light of the world rises, the seeds rise again on Easter in, in Judaism. Like, they kill you. They killed us all for it. They just murdered us. So I would, I would go around and do it on purpose. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, and you'd see back. So this is how I could gauge the level of intelligence of a, of a, of a synagogue before, because I didn't like being there. I didn't like wasting time. You got to ask questions. Who's got, mm -hmm. who's got some old papers and who, who's, who smuggled what in their, but blah 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 shit. I don't want to hear all that crap. Yeah, I just want literally. I don't want to. I walk into the church and I just start blabbling. This bread got here when the light of the world sacrificed itself on the cross. Now, if I don't want to eat this bread, I can take its seeds, its dead body, wrap it in a shroud, and watch it rise again three days later on Easter. And all of our ancestors were murdered for teaching it. And then I look like look up. Like what? Those three dudes that just fucking bowed their head for to see if somebody's gonna come in the door and shoot me. I want to talk to those guys and those guys only. Right? They know. They know. See what I'm getting at? As a kid, I did like. Yeah. Like I can get through the whole fucking room. I don't want to talk to these 300 people. I want to talk to those three dudes right there. They go, why? Like those dudes pissed themselves. I did that bread thing, and they literally <laughs> a grown ass man shit himself in church. Like he thought, like. Fuck, we're all be they're coming now and we're all going to get shot. You fucking idiot, boy. What were you doing? What were you thinking? How fucking stupid. We're all dead. Like, he just was like, we're dead. That's it. It's over. He killed us all. Oh this my boy God. just killed us all. Like, that's the guy I want to talk to. So why do you want to kill that guy? He's fucking crazy. I just killed everybody. But you didn't, Martin. He's old. He's crazy. Yeah, but why does he think I just killed everybody? For teaching you how the fucking bread rises again three days later on Easter, like Judaism used to teach. Why would he think that there's somebody's going to come and kill us all? The whole fucking building? He fucking shit right. his pants. Like, he shit his pants. Like, he pooped himself. <laughs> Are you serious? Scared. Oh, my God. That's not funny. I'm not trying to say it to be funny. No, I'm talking like I know, scared, but... like... I thought you were just speaking like metaphorically, no. but I'm only laughing because no. I realize you do that. And you go look around. I'm sorry, this is like a, like a, with a room for you know, um, people for IDs and shit. Right? You take a, a, a tin the wa tin water bottles. So someone was stolen valor and just fucking drop it behind them. Ding 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 ding. Let us let it sound like I'm dropping some like a some some kind of weapon behind their ass. See what they do. They'll freak the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. When the real PTSD, sometimes they do. They don't freak out. You would think that, but it's not like that. But they do do certain things. It's like literally, like they check their six. Like, yeah, like, like somebody just baited just me. Like, like I know I'm supposed up. to look back there, so I'm not gonna. Where do I kind of look instead? They got shit set up. Mm -hmm. But uh, I learned that thing from 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 adults. I'll say this and see what other adults fucking know. You know, I go into a cardiologist. Cutting sugar eats the cholesterol out of your arteries, so you don't need heart medication. You won't, you'll cure yourself of heart disease. No longer a patient. You look around. This is what nurses, you got to get in the fucking back now. Oh, you do that, you bitch. Mm. Yeah. There's the other one. Right. He's just rambling, right? It doesn't make it, what I'm saying, it's just nonsense. It don't make any sense. I don't need to speak to you. Right? As I do that, mm -hmm. and a cardiologist or cancer, whatever. Cancer needs sugar to survive. They're going to shoot can sugar in me to feed the cancer so they can know I have cancer and then I'm going to die of cancer. And then nobody come get me. They don't, they, I'm just rambling. But you get one cancer doctor. You come here. Don't, can you not say that? Yeah. Can you not say those things? 
Why not? I'm just I got autism. I'm just fucking babbling. Here's my paperwork. I just got autism. I just ramble. It's nonsense. Well, yeah, but I don't want anybody hearing that nonsense. Hmm. Okay. So I won't say that again. Do you really give Do you really give sugar to know if I have cancer? Yes. Why? Why do you give me sugar to know if I have cancer? Because that's what we have to give you so that your cancer metastasizes. Gets big enough to read on on a scan. I had to give you the cancer half the time. I had to make sure you got terminal cancer half the time. I could have just told you to not eat sugar. Starve the cancer. Right. But, you know, you, you have to do things like that. Like, say shit. Like, and then the, wrap it in a shroud, it rise again three days later. You look around to the old men and the old women. Who pissed themselves? Not to be mean. Like, who just had a fucking heart attack? Yeah. You're right. right. Like, that lady almost just died. She almost just fucking died. Her breath almost just left her body from that phrase. Can I talk to her? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I, uh, I wanted to ask you, too. I've asked before, but, like, are there... I know that, because I do want to go to um, a couple different churches in my area. There's one here, right, literally right on the corner. I can see it looking out of my window. It's just some non-denominational. I'd like to go there. And um, my my family's uh, parishes, there's two of them. One's called Holy Spirit and one's called Little Flower. Yeah. Um, but I'd like to go to both of those and do the exact same thing that you're doing or you said you would do. But are there any extra precautions I should be sure of? I know to tip you're the church. I mean, of, so you're just asking people, a what's a covenant? A rainbow. You just gather their information. Right. Just checking what they know. And if they know it, are they teaching it? Now you ask the rest of the church, did you guys know a covenant is a rainbow? No. Nope. And your pastor knew that. Though, How long have they been your pastor? And I, and I do it smartly. I'm planting seeds. I want to tell them something without telling them. Right. So I want to tell you your pastor's stupid and hasn't been teaching you shit, Biggie. But I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to say it without saying it. So in front of you, so pastor, you find it yourself. in front of you, I say, what's a covenant? There's a rainbow. Oh, covenant? Okay. And then... Biggie, did you know a rainbow was... You didn't? How long have you been coming here? Seven years. Do you give donations on Sunday? Yes. Okay. Uh, every week? Yes. For seven years? And he didn't even tell you what the words of your book meant? Do you know why your pastor wouldn't teach you what the words of your book meant? Because wouldn't understanding what the words me- meant allow you to get the correct message? And wouldn't hiding the meanings of the words allow me or the pastor to deliver a false message? Right. And you're perpetually running after that message that's never coming. Yeah. Didn't know that. Okay. What else did your pastor teach you? Do you know what else? Biggie, can you tell me anything else your pastor has refused to teach you? You go, what? I, I, I got <laughs> autism. I'm collecting information for a study. Can you tell me anything else your pastor refused to teach you? you know, what do you mean refuse? Well, you heard him say he knows it's a fucking a rainbow's a covenant, the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark's got seven seals. You heard him say he fucking knows that. And you just got done telling me in seven years he refused to teach you it. Is there anything else he has refused to yeah. teach you? And you go, I have to go. All right, whatever. <laughs> if you ever think of anything else he hasn't taught you, let me know. I'm doing a study. And in real life, like you're going to go and ask, let me know what they said. And they come back. I got a whole stash of shit. Like, man, these pastors, these, they knew all this shit and they just never told a soul. Right. See, I guess my only concern is that my family is um, not well known, but they're known within those parishes. Which is so question. it's almost like. Go to, go to a Yeah, room. but somebody. Okay, yeah, for random. sure. And I'm not trying, you're not doing it to be deceitful at all, right? You, you right, actually no, doing no. Now, this is real life shit. Catholicism, you're actually required to go church hopping. Hmm. And this is a lost art. And that men do this yeah. on purpose. You are required in Christianity to go church hopping so that you can bring back new apocalypses new information that Biggie's, I hopped, church hopped to Biggie's and I went there for a month 
And his pastor was teaching all kinds of shit about, we didn't know at my church that a rainbow was a covenant, but we do now because all the kids were required to church hop. Mm. Now they go. Gathering the pieces. Now they say, ah, you come to a lighthouse, you never go to another church. So you don't get any of the other pieces. You go to New Hope, mm. you don't go to another church, so you don't you gather all the pieces. You go to, uh, you know, Flower, you don't go to any other place to gather the pieces. We actually, hey, when these people actually follow through with the church hopping in Christianity, they're supposed to do one month a year at another church. You're supposed to do it. Not a sister church, not a neighbor church, a church that your church has nothing to do with for gathering information. Right. To bring back to your congregation. It's how they spread before the new, you know, that, you know, the, the answers and, and knowledge before we had newspaper and internet and telephones and smartphones. Mm -hmm. Kids would church hop. Word of mouth. Now nobody church hops and nobody brings the information around. The pastor's going, yeah, we kind of like it better. When nobody knows anything, we make more money. Mm -hmm. And they make it like a, um, they do certain things to make it feel like a special community of people. And then you feel, as a member of that congregation, oh, I don't want to leave my community. I don't want to, you know, like I feel safe here with these people. It's 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 just nuts. Yeah, but I got to get off. For sure. Thanks for talking with me today. Yeah. You have a good one. God bless. <laughs> you too. Command control is...